Okay. Oh. Remy, Katex, and Bia, you guys are landing on the planet to investigate investigate the crashed ship. Stepping off first. Yeah. Remy walks out, looks around, and it's like last time, Katex is running out and planting his flag. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. So I'm guessing I'm conscious at this point. I'm not knocked out. Yeah, you could be conscious, knocked out, however you think this would be perfect for the roleplay. Yeah, I walk over... Wait, let me see this kick stuff. Oh, no. So I see that coming towards me. The... Uh, the is it the Jawa holding the flag or is uh, no he the Jawa's holding the Jawa the flag, ran yes. out and stabbed it in the ground. I'm walking. Towards yeah, yeah, it's like right next to his ship. It's oh, like... I thought you were claiming the ship with. No, your... no, no, no. He's no, claiming no. the planet. He's claiming the planet. So... He thinks this is his now. He doesn't know there's anyone else here. He doesn't. Now she slowly opens her eyes, and first thing she sees, standing bright and proud, is the. Yep. Te- How do you say Katex? Katex, yeah. All right. He sees the Katex. She sees the Katex flag, flag, and she just says, "I suppose art is. Di- there is no correct way to do art." As she just like co- collects herself and slowly stands up. You, uh, you okay? We plant flag first. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, she'll slowly step out. Hey, what that? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you okay? Yeah. You good? Uh, hold on, hold on. This is all too much. Uh, who is everyone? How are you here? How are you doing? I'm Remy. That's Katak. That's Bia. Who are you? Hi. Um. Uh, she'll look down and say, "Hello there. Uh, I'm now Shervalath. I believe I just had some malfunctions, she says, slowly turning her eyes yeah. to the remains of of her ship. Yeah. She says, safe to say, um, I'm not going back to that rental company. Why are you here? I was going somewhere else, and then suddenly my computers began flashing colors, there was something, parts missing... Yes, safe to say, I'm not going back to that rental company. Oh. Um, where is here? Make sure you report for a uh, faulty product, or else that hurt credit score. Yeah, here is uh, nowhere. Don't have to worry about that. Just a, uh, just a planet with mm, scary monsters. Yep, scary monsters. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, e- evil monster everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably and, and leave as soon as you can. And I take it um, this planet belongs to the Katext state. Well, looks like it does now. I mean, it has a flag. Yep, on. yep, flag, flag over there. I beg to differ. Over. Uh, as I'm coming uh, closer with my blaster, not trained on them, but kind of like at the ready. Oh, good, another person. I thought there were supposed to be no people here. God damn it. Well, Every time I try to find undocumented planet, there are people there. Okay, what's your story? Why are you here? Why Why do you exist here? What? I've been here for months. Why, why are you all here? Uh, well, I asked you first. Yes, but you're the one who just landed in your ship. Uh, that's not my ship. You could say I landed, too, just um, a bit rougher. That's... Mm. Mm, sure, I'd call that a landing. Three out of ten. Crash landing. Could be worse. I could be dead. As um, she slowly goes back into the ship to look for her cane. Hey, lady. Uh, old pilot saying, if walk away from landing, good landing. You know, that's not wrong, she says. Is she just, like, throwing away a whole bunch of junk, trying to find her cane? Yeah, so, like, I actually like your outfit. Pretty nice. Yeah, thank you, I made it myself. Oh, that's nice. Do you, uh, make a lot of outfits, or just that one particular? Uh, it is my job, and I should be doing it more, but, you know, vacation. Uh, somewhat of a... Uh, 
collector of outfits, I guess. I don't make them, though. That's cool. You're a collector of outfits. I mean, I, like I doubt you've heard of me, and not in a snobbish way. I'm, I've just started here. But I own a fashion company. Uh, is it from here? She'll slowly look around and say, what do you mean here? You don't know what this place is. Is it from this point in time? Just like looking at her, just like like gobsmacked. Um, I suppose so. I I don't I don't follow. Yeah, I probably haven't heard of you. What do you mean? Which point in time? Yeah, you probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm like from the future and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. At at the mention of that, Sen immediately raises his gun, aiming it at at the group. Katak and Mia both draw on you. <laughs> Yeah, now out of seemingly nowhere, the little Java produces a yeah. heavily modified, a heavily modified blunderbuss. Yeah, like I mean, like it's just the back of your head, like yeah, it's, you don't need to do that. It's not gonna bad idea, buddy. Yeah, it's a bad idea. Uh, on this planet for not even five minutes, and people already have a gun drawn on them. It's yeah, just like started, home. He started it. Yeah. They, like, Imp do... Imperial affiliation. Yes. No. Hmm. Technically, no. Maybe one day. Should we say uh, Imperial? Wait, what time? What time? Like, yeah, yeah, we're before Order sixty six, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So in that case, she says um, Imperial. Well, what do you mean? Um, which which Imperial? There are plenty of Imperials around here. Well. And uh, Sen will uh, take out like a. A small like piece of cloth that has the actual like uh galactic imperial insignia on so, it like i said i think i'm crazy but i'm not from this time so i'm from the future so whatever the imperial's done at this time i don't know anybody about that but from the future yeah i she'll look at the symbol and so take out a data pad from her pack and like sketch it down saying Although I've never seen that symbol, um, I'm taking it. Oh, wait. oh yeah, that that uh, that empire symbol, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're uh, um, yeah, Z have yeah. some some place. Yeah, my mom, my mom's part of the empire. Do you work for the empire? Do I work for them? No, I don't work. I'm I'm rich. And he'll just like slowly lower his gun down. Katak Sanbia would follow suit. So if this is from the future, he'll uh she'll slowly look towards uh Remy and Katex. Do you think we can trademark this as a copyright? And do you think we can register this as our trademark? Mm -hmm. uh, Apparently they thought that I was trying to patent the story writing idea. They say no. So, Damn. are you from the future? No. Yes. I'm not. Yeah, you're not. Apparently, someone yeah. is. Apparently. <clears throat> so, everyone's here from the future except for you. That's weird. Yes. So, why are you here, other future guy? You could say, um... A much, much rougher crash landing than our friend here. Spike, you still want to go with the, the explanation for uh, Remy and Katex that Remy came to Katex asking him to build a time machine and the shit went wrong? Sure. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah that's a funny one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, it's, it's My funny. hyperdrive had a few failures in it and found myself here, crash landed, and got a bit of help. Oh, so you're not here by choice. Certainly not. Oh, okay. That one. We part way out. Yeah. Remy here come to old Uncle Katex saying, "What? Go back in time?" And then, well, well, we did. <laughs> we did. Yep. I want to go back in time. We, we technically time. succeeded. Yeah. I would not believe you, but I've seen tiny green men take sh take entire spaceships out of the sky using just their mind. I think I I'm inclined to believe you. 
really like I'm guessing you're speaking of the Jedi. This guy with better stuff, so. So, yes, I was a Jedi. Underline was. Um, we parted ways. Out of character, real quick. Um, Force sensitive, anyone? Yes. Both of you are? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And like, full casters, half casters, what are we talking about? Uh, my, I have one level in Consular. Okay. Sentinel. Okay, so you have four Three levels. Three, okay, yeah. Okay. Because I have like the my Luca thing where I can like sense the you know, right power scatter stuff. So yeah, I'm like okay. So you guys are so back in time. You guys are force users. You're Jedi Sith. What you guys are? You seem like you don't like the Empire, so you must be a Jedi. No. Okay. Well, what are you? Sith that doesn't like the Empire? It's uh. <laughs> complicated matter and he'll kind of like bring his uh his uh cycle rifle over his shoulder with with uh with the strap on it perhaps we could do a bit more walking as we're talking where yeah why Indeed, we i'm getting a leg cramp um can you four roll me a perception check also, where do you get sand person gun? Let's just say it's a modified souvenir. Ah, you kill a sand person. That's weird. Understandable. They can be pretty dick. Oh, you took his gun. Why do you use a gun if you can use force? I was trying to use a gun. I've just barely got the hang of the whole force thing. Wait, right. um, you say that out loud? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean the, um, why do you use a gun if you can use the force? Yeah. I say, because, darling, the force may be nice, but nothing is quite, nothing is quite the same as hot lead. These people get it! Katax like shoots three times in the air. Like, <laughs> Let's not do that. Yeah, Rumi takes her like. There are so wild beasts in the vicinity. Yeah. Uh, wait, what, what, what did you say? What was Rumi doing? She just takes her like, nah, you guys are crazy. Of course it's the best. Maybe it's because you guys aren't really good at it. That's why. Force is a hammer, darling. I'd rather have a gun than a hammer. Mm, I don't know. I've seen my mom do some crazy stuff before. Way more than the hammer. Perhaps I've yet to meet your mother. Alright, send ah, in she, she is a lovely lady. Great, good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. She's very nice. Seneca Tex, you guys would hear screaming off in the distance. Mm. Anyone, anyone, else, anyone else here dying, baby? I That's no don't good. do anything. And uh, Zen will start to kind of like head towards that direction. Well, if planet already inhabited and I can't claim for itself, might as well meet locals. Remy, you come? Yes, the locals are killing a baby. Yeah, we should <laughs> stop them. Kill a baby, not good. Yeah, yes. why would they be killing a baby? Hold on now, who's killing really babies? <laughs> Hold on now, who's killing babies? I don't know. He Local, he's... maybe. Yeah, he said he heard people Oi. killing babies. You say you've been here. Local kill baby? I, I, I've been here? No. I've been here for about no. five minutes. No, other guy. No, no, he's looking over at oh. Nick's son. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you a local? You've been here for a while, but I mean, have you seen other A few months, but no, I haven't seen any baby killing. Oh, okay. All right. Perhaps Bia. instead of talking about it, we should go see. Yeah, let's go. Bia, put ship on lockdown. We go stop baby murder. I think. <laughs> let's go deal with locals. Very well, Katex. Let's move. Oh, nice. So. Oh boy. I remember this scene. Yeah, we do too. Yeah. 
her. Okay. Okay, it looks like a girl's being drugged to water. Alright, so monster uh, kill little girl, not local baby murder. We we stop or uh, Yes of course we stop. What are they doing? Are they just gonna throw her in the water? I don't know. Yeah, like, why aren't they, like, rip apart and eat her? This weird. Yeah. Well, how about we not let her get dragged in and see what happens? Someone take a shot. I only have a pistol on me. Uh, Sin oh, is gonna, gonna wait, 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 come forward wait, 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 with yeah, his yeah, declaratory. Yeah, Rimmy's gonna, like, say, whoa, whoa. I got enough time in, in, in unsavory business practice to, to yeah. smell bad thing. I don't trust this. Wait, we gotta, we should wait to see. Maybe, maybe the girl's a bad guy and she's... I'd rather be, I'd rather be scammed than be, than be responsible for a murder. Well, we're not responsible I mean, they wouldn't be it. murder. If you, if you're a ne- bystander and you it do nothing, be... you're responsible. No, it's just criminal negligence, not murder. Though I do agree, should do something, stop. And uh, if we are entering combat, I do wish to cast um, a spell. No, I'm making the emerald and insight to see if I can piece it. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. If you guys want to see if what's actually going on, please roll insight or Mm investigation. Or investigation. Yeah, Yeah. I'm I'm just trying to see these this this little girl. Uh, then in I'm having trouble still pronouncing it. It's pretty insightful. No. We just rolled pretty poorly. No, 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 Trust me. Yeah, she's faking. Like, yeah. They're not really holding her very well. She's not really struggling very much. Like, this doesn't yeah, seem yeah. right. I know genuine screams of terror, pee, pants, fear. My brother did it all the time when we were younger. Maybe they Very might concerning. Be, might be friends. Maybe what? Just... He's scared of Crate Dragon. Very concerning. What's a Crate Dragon? It's a very dangerous monster. From what Big I lizard told. in the sand. That's fucking annoying. Send, send in your time here and some of the locals. You would he- you would have heard mentions about large creatures of the lands. From what I was told by my mom, a crate dragon is a dragon that is not made of crates. Its name is a lie. Yeah, it made of meat, like other animal. Would be concerned yeah. if it wasn't made of meat. But yeah, go take position in three. Okay. Is it possible for me to sneak down here? Roger, Roger. Yep, uh, roll stealth and perception. Yeah, yeah, Bia would like, uh, you guys would see as as she walks over here, stows her rifle, and her two arms split into four as she crawls up into the tree and is going to hide. You said, sorry. I'm gonna do this first. You, You said stealth and perception? Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's Bia's stealth. Okay. Stealth and... Perception. Perception. Okay, now... Goddamn! Yeah, now for Texas stealth. Yeah, Tex will stick close with Bia, actually, so she can help him. Okay. I want to try and move down here. Yeah, be, be, be a carries Katex up there and, <laughs> with, with her. As people are moving, together. do we see anything before we move too far? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, this would appear out of the water. Okay. Way through your guys' movements. I knew it. What is that? I knew Crate Dragon. It's, it's a um, baby Crate Dragon? Those, that's not a real Crate Dragon. Those like, who got Daddy, under a 27... Not yeah, but Bob For said it was like stealth. really, really big. Sorry. That's not little big. one. A little one. Like, Maybe it's a baby. She's. Maybe. Like, she's. Kay. She say, I see the one that your mom killed because she had video. That one, like, really old. Oh. 
So, real quick, with your guys' movements, Sen, you would notice oh, yeah, in perception, six people in the area. The, the trees, to be precise. They're in the trees. Uh, 21. Okay. Vendor and Cabania can help you with literally. Sen is the only one that's seen them. Yeah, do you want to mark them for them so you know where they're at? Yep, I'm getting uh, ready to. I, I'm yeah. actually just going to reveal them for Sen to make it easier. Yeah, Sen will, like, as you all are kind of get into position, he's going to hold up uh, a fist and he's going to silently point out in the tree line uh, where they're at. And then uh, motion to his lips, like a silent motion. I think we're a bit too late for that. I think I found one. No, no, you're, you're still still. Unless, unless they see you. Oh yeah, no, they they see everybody that actually got below a twenty-seven stealth. Yeah. So Ribby like okay, puts so his finger on the nose, like, yeah. See, oh, yeah. I mean, he is the only one hidden. So 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 I guess we you point at a guy above us. We look up. He's looking down at us. <laughs> oh yeah, he's straight up looking at yeah. you. And I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing? Are you going to kill the dragon that's not made of crates, named Crate Dragon? Uh, which one do you point at first? Whichever one's like up right here next to me. I guess I'll talk to this one. Okay, um, well, they speak to you back in Tuscan. Uh, on the gosh, you're there. gonna ruin our hunt. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. I look back at uh, Nosh, but I never got her. You never gave us your name, right? You know, I don't think I did. Yeah. Oh. Like, hey, pretty lady with the nice outfit. Yes? Don't mess up their hunt. Oh. What? Who's that, they? Amy? They're they hunting little girl? I think they're hunting, maybe. You guys hunting the little girl or the monsters or the dragon? What are you. Oh. Beast that came out of the water. Oh, the dragon. Okay, yeah. The hunting the dragon. All right, I'll stay here. I mean, this is more of a hazing ritual slash graduation for her out there. Oh. Oh, okay. shush. Okay. I walk back. Yeah, the little girl's with them in the trees. No, she's over there. Yeah, she's with them though. Like they're all part of the same group. Then why are they feeding her the dragon? They're not. That it's like. They're tricking the dragon, I guess. They're gonna kill the dragon. He's bait. Okay, okay, okay. Harder to hear you and you over there. Yeah. No whisper. I don't want to ruin their hunt. Hey. Should we like help or? I don't know. Nah, I mean, let's just stay here. Yeah, it's not good to help. It's their hunt thing. They want us to mess yeah, it yeah. up. So I mean, if we help, we just watch. Then... Yeah. I don't want to steal their glory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like Katek's like, uh, he, he and Bia stop trying to be sneaky, they just, they just sit down and, uh... Yeah, we just wait. Katek's like pulls out a little device and starts to making popcorn. Yeah. He had one, son. He had one, son. Is that really... You'll just look over and say, is that really quiet? Yeah, just like over the sounds of popping popcorn. What? <laughs> I, th I think Dragon hear her screams more than hear popcorn. <laughs> really hope this doesn't affect anything. I'm sorry. You're making popcorn. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, four was the crate Dragon smelt the popcorn. <laughs> you can't have my popcorn. Mine. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you actually... Once things are going to be different... Because this is all rolled to see what would happen. This little guy is dead. Oh no, not the little guy. The little guy. Okay. But oh, out of over time, you guys would start noticing that this crate dragon. Those of you who understand what a crate dragon is notice that this is kind of weak. Yeah. Like a newborn babe. They murdered a child. 
child does. Okay, yeah, so basic... they are killing baby. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but this is okay because but... it is monster baby. But at the same time, the girl who was screaming, you would see her crying. Like actually crying? Actually crying. I think she's sad that her friend died. No. Why she cry? Her friend died. Probably. Oh, her monster thing died. Yeah, I mean, they're apparently friends. Then why she put it next to the dragon? <laughs> I'm still not feeling good about this. I don't know, it's like, it's like if, if you and Bia fought a dragon and then Bia died. Yeah, but I can put Bia back together. Well, she crying because she can put the monster back. At this point She's in time... Stupid. She should get droid. Mm, right, Bia? This... You, you best type of friend, because I put you back together when you fall apart. At this point in time, uh, be sure B would stop being hidden, uh, would actually scare this woman falling to the ground. I mean, Katex, yeah, I mean, Katex and Bia stopped being hidden like a good bit of Oh, ago. yeah, she wasn't paying any attention. Her target was, <laughs> was the crate. Yeah. Oh, hi. Me, and hi. that person falls out. Don't mind us. Just watch. Guys... The, the, the... The uh the little me a little mechanical arm pops out out of Katex's pack and picks up the picks up the the popcorn that's that's in his hands and holds it out <laughs> closer to her. Want some? Yeah. Well, not. <laughs> the fuck did you guys get behind me? Uh, we walk from that direction to here. And yeah. It just happens to be behind. Me. Wait, who's talking? But this person. I assume the new person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm Remy. That's Katek. That's a person I don't know, and other person I don't know. Uh, we've seen him before. He's with some outcasts out in the mountains. Okay. okay. I know of him a little bit. So, uh, are you guys from this planet? No, we crashed here a couple years back. Dang, everyone crashed here. Uh, she was about to say, is there something going on with magnetism on this planet, because I crashed here too. It just seems like this entire planet has a tractor beam on it. I don't mean to be rude. I got here just fine, the ship intact. Maybe you guys just not great pilot. Oh, let's see. Are you from... Are you from this time? What time do you think it is? What year you think is? Year 3000 B BBY? Yeah. You time traveler. So, planet made you three crash, and the planet we're from different times, but you're not. So, it's an odd man out for both things. Mm. Black Eye. Is everyone here from the future or mm -hmm. from the past? Am I the only one from the present? Yep. I future. Oh. Yeah. oh. It might be a such good droid, because super future tech. And we're. You guys are almost a crack. Well, the kind of reason why we crashed was uh, escaping the huts. Hmm. Are the huts Slimy bastards. Yeah, well, when you betray it, the Empire, kind of. So the huts are bad even here. Don't I know it? Oh yeah, I remember. I remember Cora and Chain tell me story about a really fat, weird hut with okay. weird pillow thing. Yeah, while ago. but there was like, but then Cora or Aunt Cora, I guess, like she had a friend hut. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but uh, I don't do much business with hut. It, immediately, it immediately. So did the Empire win the war? Yeah. Which Empire? Yes. The, the Galactic Sith. Empire. Huh? No, they the didn't Sith win. Empire they didn't... changed their name? Yes, they went from the Sith Empire with the rise of Emperor Palpatine and became the Galactic Empire. Palpatine's a Sith? That, that's what okay. um, Nausha says. I don't Palpatine's know what... a Sith? Oh, yeah. I don't know what's a Sith Empire, but Galactic Empire is gone, mostly. Yeah. My mom joined she, that, and she helped them, and she became, like, the strongest Sith in the universe, and she was super cool, and then she retired, and 
yeah, and then yeah, everything like fell back apart. Yeah, I think, was, I think she was holding it together. She just like um, she shakes her head and she just slowly like stands up from where she was seated, watching that, yeah. and starts walking over to the group. Don't confuse the present people with random future information. What is so? So much seems to happen in the future, and honestly, I don't want to know. The future's not mine to see. Don't worry, you'll find out in about 20 years. <laughs> Just be happy you're not part of the Jedi Order anymore. If I'm alive in 20 years. Yeah, you'll be dead. Yeah, not a lot of those around. Mm. What happened then? They'll go on vacation, right? Or they'll explode. You think I know? Uh, well, 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 well. Look who's really... here. I don't really think much about those things. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Storm fucking knocked out my power for the past several hours, so uh, I just got it back. Okay, yeah. I can run six. That's perfect. Well, That's fine. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, but we're in the um, talking to the Mandalorian party. Yeah. Just filling out one of the players because yeah. they're kind of finished yeah. a l little bit with their character so idea concept. Be like, I think I know what you are. Are you a Mandalorian? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, man. I don't know much about you guys. You, you kill people that have that metal, that special metal, the Beskar stuff? Oh, no. No. Okay. Plus, Making we don't sure. need to. Okay. Making sure. Making sure, just in case you know someone is having to have some. Why like is that. somebody. I, I thought all men did that. That's yeah, what oh. That's why I. No, we've. Are, we've... Oh, this, this planet is abundant right now. Uh, we yeah. are in agreement with the local tribes on this planet. Everybody's like. We're mining and. As far as we speak. Kareem like walks up and tries to put her fingers over her mask mouth, like. Shh. Shh. <laughs> yeah, not everyone oh. knows about that. Little girl, this ain't no time to be flirting. Not flirting, I'm just telling you to shh, because people don't know about that. Do you know about what? People don't know about Beskar. Yeah, they don't know about that. I look back, I'm like, wait, do you know what Bes- I don't know your name. What's your name? Oh, me? I'm Nausha. Hey, Nausha Vala. Hey, Nausha. 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 I was gonna call you pretty lady. Sure. Now, go ahead. Now. Now. Yes. What about you? All right. Now, that work. Jedi guy. That's not a Jedi, but uses a gun. Just Sen. It's fine. Okay, that's easy. Sen. Sen. All right. Mandalorian. What are you? I'm mm, just. Uh, I'm Sasha Vizla. I'm okay. engaged to Jason Ordo over there. Points up in the tree and he falls out because he's clumsy. That's, that's cool. Uh... No. So... Introduction's great and everything, but we still have this current situation that we should probably keep a better eye on. Uh, this seems like mm -hmm. Those of you like who understand Tuscan and, and... or have vocoders... Would hear her yelling at all the Tuscans to get out of the trees. Hmm. Yeah, this start the Tuscans that could text would know. They seem a lot different. All right, these guys look nothing like Tuscan. Mm -hmm. First of all, I can see their skin. Yeah, that never happened. The ones <laughs> that worked at the bar just like hiding those little masks. I've only heard of Tuscans in books. And also they're in the in the sand and the hill, yeah. not the trees. Oh, I mean That's the the what are they call the the the, the I don't know. I mean what my mom has like a few of them that work in the bar. They cook food and bartenders. Uh, Sasha, the Mandalorian that you guys were talking to, would point out uh ask what do you guys know of the old feared empire throughout history called the Rakatans. Nothing. What's I, uh, DM, was I taught anything in my school? Just basic school, was the Rakatans taught? No, it's forgotten history. Really uh, in that Unless case, you were higher up. 
No. He had access to the What was it from? So you said it was Sith stuff? No. Oh. Out of, out of character. What kind of. For Cotton. Would, would Remy know anything about it? Uh, no, yeah, we. I don't think Z would know about it. That's fine. Was... Yeah, Z doesn't know anything about it. So. Yeah, we haven't. In, in the Friday game, we haven't came across anything like that yet. Okay. I really wouldn't know anything about it. Fine. <laughs> He's like, nope. No well. Way. From certain books from my time that the Sith Academy and stuff they had, uh, their cottons were galaxy wide. It's a galaxy wide empire empire that and every other race beneath them at slaves. Okay. Well Alright. You know how Tatooine came to be Katex or whatever your name is? Little Jawa. I I Katex, yes. No okay. planet explode a long time ago. You know why? Tatooine exploded? Because planet explode. Sometimes happen. Do you know what terraforming is, little man? Yes. It when evolves you make a little. Different. Kind of evolves that. Minus making it different, more excavating its resources type of terraforming. Out of character, what you're saying is wrong. <laughs> what actually happened is that the Rakatans blew the place to high hell. <laughs> yeah. Because the, but because, it, the, it, because the Kumonga well, forced from, them from off the world. from what this Mandalorian knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just... But is that right? The, irks. Like, irks me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's why. It's not... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know, I know, I know. All right. Okay, good to do. Okay, so Terraform... Too much of a, ner too much of a okay. fucking nerd. Yeah. <laughs> so... Why are you telling us this? Thanks for oh, the because they weren't conquered. This planet. By them. They weren't conquered? Who wasn't conquered? people? These Gorfas, Tuscans. Oh, okay. So they're here. Yeah, which kind of shocked me, but my vocoder only picked up one language that they were speaking. Okay. So, Tuscans here, you found them, and now you work together to... How are they Tuscan if they not raid Fort Tuscan? Because that's how they got named back home. They had a name I've been calling them. Oh, I've been calling them Tuscans. Oh, and they just accept. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, they they correct me every now and then. They they're with us. Okay. You ever ask how I get here? That kind of weird. I mean, they kind of watched my my ship burn and crash. I said we were being chased by slimy huts. Are they here? Were they born here? Yes, they, they're actually a population of 22 billion. Oh, okay. 20 billion of them being Gorfus. Well, this planet is not. Mm. And lots of people. Okay. Mm. Um, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Damn. Now she's going to take out a data pad and stylus and start sketching the outfit of one of the Gorfas. Is that the name? Their proper name? Yeah. The proper name, yeah. The mm -hmm. only so, thing I'm keeping from regular legends and canon without the uh, twist. Yes. She'll start um, sketching the outfit of these Gorfas. If the public find out about planet, then this place become. Real, member, real quick, probably. does Phoenix? Do you want to come walking in or? Um, it, it was the same thing pretty much. Uh, someone crashed, and then now we're doing yeah. the same thing. So if you want to come walking in, saying the same story stuff you have come for, you can just walk in like who are you guys? Right. I understand. Um, is this one going to be canon? We don't know. <laughs> don't know yet. Could be. As uh, next week, it, depending on how your is, because they were came in a little bit late before everything was proceeding. Mm -hmm. Well, I came in the latest. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, like we were, I, I was trying to find players because I wasn't sure. Because Ignis, it not even an hour before session zero started again, they dropped out. 
Yeah. So I was saying, you want to join in to interact with this to meet the new players uh, are in, or sure. I mean, if not, you can just wait till later and we'll see. Oh, we can describe one uh, they're coming wait, in. Can I? Can I not drag out my character? Oh. Archive it. I, yeah, I think I did by accident. That is my fault. Yeah, I did. I'm so sorry. Well, if you walk, you walk up. Right no, now. I didn't archive it. It's right there. Hold up. Yeah, it's, it's there, but um, me like I just, I just it won't bring up the thing for to allow me to drag it out. Um, tr how? Oh god damn it, roll twenty. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I just dragged it out myself and it disappeared. Uh, that's fucked up. He has yeah. access to the token and the player. It should work. Yeah, he's got access to dragging it. Okay, well we can do Okay, uh it. hold on your name real quick. Like left click and drag out. Either way. Left click and drag out. Drag it out for him and see if he can just move it after it gets dragged out. What the fuck? That's weird. Okay. Can you can you move it? Yeah. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Can you guys oh, see my token? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. So we come walking up, I guess, from behind us. Yeah. Do you just hear the loud cheerings from where you landed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the rest of y'all would probably hear uh, the sound of a spaceship uh, landing. Uh, ways away, and then you'd hear uh, something coming through the brush over here as uh, a um, pretty pretty tall um, looks like a near human species um, due to the way the structure is um, covered in black robes um, and uh, uh, the only thing you can really see is uh, the eyes, which are, uh, you can see through the holes in the skull mask. Yes, as you approach For those of yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you recognize it, it's a bone gnar mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're like walking up behind like Katex because he was distracted. He's, he's a little upset, learning learning that this planet is extremely inhabited and not ripe for the pickings. Yep. When you come up behind him, he like he gets spooked. He's like. Bone monster! <laughs> just like just like starts whacking you in the leg with a stick, you know. <laughs> yeah, are you sure this is not this isn't like a tourist resort? Like it was like, so you from around here? Did you crash here? Are you from the future, the past? Like let's get it out of the way. Let's see what random stuff you're about. Oh wait. It's not bone monster. Uh I apologize very much, Icatex. I assume you're talking to me. Yeah. Uh well. I am Nicholas Klein Velderman. You sure. may call me Nick, if you wish. Sure, Nick. Hi. Hi, Nick. I'm Rick. Mr. Gelderman. Okay. From the present. And present? Okay, cool. Oh, someone, finally! Did you, did you crash here? Mr. Gelderman, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, did you crash here? No, I landed here. I'm doing oh. research on the local flora and fauna. Oh, good. There's no coincidence. Okay, good to know I'm not only capable pilot. <laughs> oh yes, we, that was one time. You haven't seen anything else I've been able to do. It's fine. Hey, hey. You crash on planet. He crash on planet. They all crash on planet. I not crash on planet. So. Oh, whoa, whoa. We were fleeing combat. That's the whole reason why we crash. And you're still stuck here, so I mean, I'd be we, out of here next we're day. We're not, we're not really stuck here anymore. We just haven't decided to leave. I mean, our ship's working. Sounds I'm sure, like laziness to me, man. Uh, you'd see the man, uh, the Mandalorian porn over at Sen. I believe we kind of fixed their ship as well. Okay, well, it must be a nice place. It doesn't seem that bad. Oh no, it's very peaceful. The only thing you got to watch out for is. Uh, Wildlife. I thought Mandy's all about war. Oh, we are trying. We don't mind war anymore. It's just who we serve and follow is trying to. Oh, who do you serve and follow? Uh, 
don't know if I trust you enough yet to explain that. I kind of said too much. Oh. Why? Okay. Is, what what are we going to do? Like, do come you on. What's really hard? Jedi? No. Do you serve Sith? Kind of, no. Kind of, sort of. Oh. Do you serve a higher power? Yes. I'm a Sith. A god? Question. Uh, uh, she says, raising an eyebrow. Yeah. They they classify as being a god at this point in time, yeah? Who? Do they walk the planet? Not this planet, but do they walk as we do? Well, my last communication with them... So you serve a Sith god? Or do you think all Sith are gods because they're super strong and cool? No, I mean... Have Sith and Jedi under their command as well. Ooh. Whatever like... this being is, is very powerful. Who are they? I want to meet them. Uh, Wait, if you're from the past, that means we should already know. Well, you know what? Take you one day to go visit them on their on the planet they reside. That well, was one day. Well. Your guys's hyperdrives. Okay. If you can find my hyperdrive, you can keep it. Oh, we have one Why you want my hyperdrive? I like my. I hyperdrive. want it. I'm asking the condition it's in. Yeah, so we can get to the place to meet the god or whatever. Oh, okay. I understand. Top notch. I have great hyperdrive. So no, no funny mishaps with it. No, no, that was time machine, and that was long time ago. Is, Wait, is the person you made a use... time machine? Yeah, I made. You made it to I machine. had one. Yeah. It was a lot of trial and error, but it worked. It's in at least 2,600 places across the galaxy in time and space now. Yeah, you gotta make a novel eventually. But wait, I... is the person you serve known as, like, the one? Oh. oh what okay. the hell is that? Don't worry about it. It's me looking for something that I have no idea where it is. I have a strong feeling today, after today, nothing is ever going to make sense, ever. Or maybe it makes more no, sense because... Alright, heads or tails. We'll make this easy if we go today or not. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll figure out how to make another time machine when Katex, like, reaches hey. into his bag and pulls out, like, a plastic Ziploc bag and dumps out, like, a, a large pile of paper shavings. Once I figure out which way these all go back together. Which... As the wind blows and they flat. <laughs> Wait, no, no! <laughs> so, like, yeah, just so, so just those of you, them. those of you who know what credits look like, the, the currency that's being flung into the air and they say heads or tails does not look like anything that you guys Well, I mean, we're just curious. We don't need to go see your god right now. I mean, now we wait. Just heads or tails. I don't know. Um, heads. Tails. Um, Damn it. Ed? Katex, Katex chooses it, options I and, actually shoots the, the, and shoots the coin out of the air. I actually flipped a coin and like <laughs> when I asked a question and those of you all said heads. Oh, fuck it. This is going to no, be no, part Katex of it. Shot, Katex ion blasted the coin out of the air. No, roll me a weapon attack. It needs to be above throw. a 17. Have that coin make me a save. Have that coin. It's, it's an object. It's going to fail the Therefore save. Therefore, it fails automatically. <laughs> I was going to see if you actually hit it or not while it's falling. Coin makes a deck save. Falls too fast. Wait, I hope you using... don't shoot her. Are you using the burst property? No, or... I'm using Ion Blast. It's a ion thing that all blast, Drawas can uh... do. With the power? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Every Java can do it. Why are you shooting as long as stuff? Yeah, I don't know, as they as, say conflicting as, as, answer, so I provide yeah. third one. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as that ion blast goes off, every Tuscan points their weapon at, at you. Now we're doing this Look. again. What? It, she, really? calms, she calms them down. They go back to de-skinning the creature in the water. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, so you're flipping a coin uh, to see if you want to take us to see your god. That yeah, I'm just gonna let we decide or does the force. So the you time. are looking for a cool trickery. I understand. Katex goes over, picks up with his mechanical arm thing, and hands it back to him. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, if you don't trust us, you don't trust us. I mean, no oh, no, no, no. It It's my thing, but if you guys really want to meet them, uh... I, I, I just want to know who you. they were. Like, what the... I, I don't understand who they are, I guess what they are. They're like some special oh. god thing. Sith... Or Sith Pure Blood. Sith Pure Blood. Sith Pure Blood. Oh yeah, yeah. Sith Pure oh, Blood. I know what Sith. that is. They're like the red people that jump inside people's heads. I've never heard of such a thing. Is this a future thing or a past thing? It's a past I, I look. thing. It's kind of interesting that you said that. What? Deep. Why is that interesting? Because there was this young Sith Inquisitor that actually was kept talking to themselves and different people, but nobody was around them. Was it my mom? I don't know. What did your mom look like? Uh, she describes her mom. Yeah, no, I've never seen anybody okay. like that. She's like black hair, blah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, were they a Sith pure blood? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not my mom. My, uh, my mom is a rat attacky. But she had an ancestor that was a Sith pure blood, so she has a little tiny bit of Sith pure blood in her. That means I have a little tiny bit. So small. Eh. Very small. Looks like they finally broke down and did that. Did what? Good for them. Did what? Oh. Okay. So, a thing about some Sith pure bloods, they kind of hated other Sith pure bloods that would mix the race oh, yeah. of their species. But it's fine, they're all dead. No, they're not. Well, in the future they are. Boss. In, boss in the future they're all dead. In the present, most of them are dead. I've never even heard of a Sith pure blood. Like, oh, that oh, they're no, really good at hiding. Yeah, my mom was trained by a ghost of one. Mm. She showed me the ghost, and they're like red people. They're like tentacly oozy things on their. I don't know. Interesting. It, was, it was inside my mom's head. It's like the ghost went inside of her head. I guess now that I think of it, it might not be a Sith thing, a Sith pure blood thing. It might be a ghost. Ghosts do that, right? I've never met. I never encountered a single ghost in my life. I haven't either. Neither have I. Hmm. Oh well. Do nightmares count as ghost? So. Immediately, she points at you. Depends on the nightmare. I'm gonna go with then I might have met a ghost. Well, if you met a ghost in your nightmare, not a real ghost. No, then, we've never even decided. Shall we see this god or not? I, yeah. Why go. are they a god? Um, they, very long story. A woman says she's seen some type of or she follows some type of god who's a Sith pure blood, well, no, no, yeah, and she wants that. to take us. But why is the Sith pure blood a god? There's a Sith pure blood, right? Well, why don't we yeah, go see? I mean, they well, I mean, sit on the eternal the title, throne, right? Wait, what? I mean, the eternal what? Eternal throne. I've never heard of this. So they're a god because they have a throne. What is the eternal throne? Why don't we go uh, find out? Is it just a really cool chair? Well, why why should we go somewhere if it's that? I mean, it's... It Where's your spirit of adventure? I crashed on a planet here, and I'm ready to go see more. I... Come on, Remy, aren't you curious? Well, yeah, that's why I'm asking mm -hmm. questions. Uh, is this throne on a planet? Uh... Is it here? Do we have to oh, no, it's not on this planet. We'd have to leave this planet. See, I'd rather get more information before we just leave. 
go all the way. So oh, we, we can go. come wait, back any time. Wait, we leaving planet to go to? Yeah, I'd rather have more information than two. Could I get the coordinates of where this throne is? No. No, they don't want to tell you where the god is. They're like pretty. So you you worship a cis cis pure blood? Is it just because they're powerful, or are they, are they actually like? Oh powerful? yeah, they've demonstrated true strength. Oh. What they do? Uh, crush the original Sith Empire, in the Emperor's hands, killed the Emperor who betrayed the Sith Empire, grouped the factions of those that followed him under his command of the Sith Empire, and those he allied, those of the Jedi Order that allied under him, and the people that served under the Emperor under a false identity as neutral beings in the Force. How many people can I mean, he kill with his mind at once? I watched him choke an entire deck of people. Like it was nothing. Okay. I mean, can't. I mean, in our in our like original time, and I mean, can't like that that one guy, the fluke pie cocker, didn't he like do that? He not God, right? Oh. My mom could probably do it. I, I don't know. I want to go see a god. I want to see how a god dresses. Yeah, sure, I guess. We can go see the god. She like does like the, you know, quote, air quotes. Now is not the time. Now, now, let's not be um, insensitive to these people's belief. If they believe he is real, yeah. we must believe full hearty that he is real. Oh, I don't think, I don't think that how religion works. I'm saying work. he's real, not just that. Before I got engaged to you, she points over at the one that fell down that's still laying on the ground. Uh -huh. Um, That man was also my first child's uh, father. What? Yeah. Huh? I wanted to have a strong child. So you had a baby with the god? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why that changes anything. Exactly. Let's go meet him already. I'm dying sure. to go meet him. Let's go meet the god. He really wants to meet the god. Let's see. Oh. oh it, some of you oh. guys seem conflicted. Well, I'm Who okay to go or not. I mean, we can go see him. I mean, it's no big deal. I'd be more than happy to go see a god. Sure. Yeah, let's see. Maybe maybe he can tell us some really cool stuff. I simply want to see his fashion sense. So uh, I, I'm going to hop out. It's getting late for me, but um, okay. yeah. Cool. Yeah, fun watching you guys. I'll want to talk to sure. some Ragnar tomorrow, probably. I don't know, maybe. Sure. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. We will see. We shall see. Yeah. Have fun. Enjoy talking to your god. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, see let's go see the fake. I mean, the god. I guess the realest god. I guess that's what gods are, right? They're, just, they're really powerful and sure. Gods are what people make them be. Yeah, I guess. Sure. I guess that makes sense. Let's go see your god. So you're all fine with this? Yeah. I want to see how strong he is. Of course. I mean, I, mean, I know the true god. The almighty dollar, so... So, if my that's, mom's that's as strong as him, that means my text, mom's a god, uh, right? she, She'll point over at you. Now you're speaking the true language of gods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kotex's uh, little, me uh, little mechanical arm... Uh, it, it like it like spins as its as its uh, appendage changes and and Katex uh <coughs> Katex it along with his extra arm uh shoots finger guns at her just like you bet I am. <laughs> so so if my mom's as strong as a god, that means my mom's a god. That means if I'm the child of a god, does that mean I'm a god too? Is that how that works? Uh, no, 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 you demigod, so. right? Or you messiah or something? Your little god. I don't know. Okay. Let's go see if I'm a little god or not. Mm. One second. So I guess we fly to a random planet to see a guy in a throne? 
Um, I was expecting to spend my Tuesday. If, if my recollection is correct, which this is out of character, um, I believe the Eternal Throne is on a spaceship. Yep, it is on a spaceship, but that's not where the throne room's going to be yet. In the back of a truck stop. Ex no. It's like random. It's scarier. Just gotta finish this real quick. It's in a haunted house. Um, so yeah, I guess um, I guess we all like walk away, but we're like, are we taking our ship? What are we? Uh, I was for for the time being because they don't have a big enough ship for for everybody. Uh, taking yours as a sure. Are they all in my ship. Kind of. Uh, just the one. Just the one Mando. Okay. Yeah, just the one. Sure. I might, I might also need to come with you. As you can see, my ship isn't exactly um space worthy. Uh, sure. I, oh. I like character. How old is your character? Uh, me. Yeah. I don't recall. Let me check. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Don't tell her. Don't don't tell her that. She'll cry. Oh no! no, no. I was thinking like um. How attractive my character video or something like that. Just, just to see if, how to dip in. Yeah. Act or whatever. Oh, oh! I should have put that. No, she she would not be interested. She's asexual. Yeah, yeah I, I, that doesn't change my character. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. <laughs> I have a literal stick to beat you off with. Yeah, but... Poor choice of words. Very yeah. poor choice of words. Yeah, so yeah, in character, she's like, yeah, sure, you, you can come. It's, yeah, I got a really nice ship. Pretty big. Uh, you need a, a, a decent image real quick. Then do you wasn't expecting to go there. Nick, do you do you have ship? You need to come with me. I I do have my own transportation. Okay. Thank you for All the right. offer. We see you there, I guess. How far is this eternal throne? Uh, not. about six systems away, give or take. All right. Why it called the turn though? Uh, last guy that he killed, take over the throne. Found a way to use the force to stay immortal. That's as much as I know. Is the throne itself immortal? Wait, 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 wait. Like immortal last way. guy, current god killed, found a way with force immortal. Therefore, he not eternal. So why he sit on throne? I don't know. I don't question. Maybe it's just a cool name. and bullshittery. You should use your head more, buddy. Maybe yeah. Maybe it's a cool name. Maybe I should make my chairs infinite. Hey, okay, we're just gonna theater of the mind this right. for the image. I can't find. A... Oh, never mind. I mean, I think that the scripter name should be accurate. That's why Katex's Super Ultimate Interstellar Bazaar is named that. I'm going to name the chair I sit in at the kitchen Infinite Chair. Yeah. Oh. Huh? So... Okay, one second. And I'm building a throne. Person, and you're a person that does plant stuff. Then what do you do? As far as just what I do in general, or you what ask me specifically? What did you do before this? I, uh, and he'll like move the shawl that he has, the shawl slash cloak that he has on. And you can see like this. It's kind of strange, like black, like very deep black armor. I was a soldier. Mm -hmm. The Galactic Empire. Oh, okay. You know my mom? I'm not sure you was... can describe, describe but to me. She was called Inquisitor Z. She was really cool. And she saved the galaxy a whole bunch of times. And she beat up a lot of bad people. And she was a hero. And yeah, they put stuff. Well, 
First, I wouldn't call any of the Inquisitors heroes. Oh, okay. I mean, he was. And also, I... if you don't know my mom, how do you know she wasn't a hero? She got that. Inquisitors are just death dealers for Jedi. I want to be an Inquisitor. No, you don't. I don't think you know what you're talking about. I heard something about Jedi. What's going on here? As uh, someone who's seen Inquisitors in action, I can assure you, I think I know what I'm talking about. Well, maybe your Inquisitors are different from mine. Yeah, because, like, whenever they're techie problem or need special cool gadget, Z came to me. Uh-huh. And I never recall her coming to me saying, Katex, need super cool gadget, help kill Jedi. There was even in Jedi's around. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder why. why. Um, my mom was an Inquisitor because she worked with a uh, guy with a really nice mustache named Zinj. And then he made her an Inquisitor. And then when he died, a blue guy named Thrawn made her an Inquisitor there. And he helped her make these cool lightsabers. She like pulls out a lightsaber and like shows it to you. Like, look. And she like turns it on. It's just a. Uh, it has like a red. Sense? It's a lightsaber. It's really. Ni- it's like the nicest lightsaber you've probably seen. Like part wise, it's like really nice metal. It has like a. I guess an. It's like got like a nice sheen to it. Yeah, it has like a. It's like yeah, it's like all black and edgy and like the crystal. It's like this like black and red crystal, like super. Yeah. And it's like yeah, see. And it has like a little symbol on the like hilt of it, like an Inquisitor symbol. I don't recall seeing the symbol being made on Ilum. With that, and since uh, their mom had direct interaction with Thrawn, would Sin actually know about or know their mom? No. Right. Oh, because okay. you said you came before the Battle of uh, Yavin. Okay. Oh. Yeah, before the first yeah. Death Star blew. So the, the timeline was you met Thrawn, stuff happened with Thrawn, Thrawn went to hide, and then he came back. Yeah, your your rebels side of Thrawn. Yeah, and, and we're in the Warlord stuff or whatever. Thrawn. Timeline convergence. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's like, in this but an illusion. So yeah. Wait, mm-hmm. which the Jawa and mm. what is your name? Remy. Yes, Remy. Hey, uh, why you call me the Jawa? I have name. I Katex. Uncle All right, Katex. If you two yeah. are both from the future, uh-huh. or a future, uh-huh. mm, do you happen to have data logs I could look at? Uh, I don't. I'm not good with technology. Trade secret. I have a cell phone. Mm. Or I guess a holocaust. Would you... I would appreciate looking at whatever data logs you have on future events. Have to write up a non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, you might use that information to do bad stuff. No. I, I do what I do for the betterment of the universe. Uh-huh. Yeah, but how I know that? Regal. I believe him. You seem very... like, trusting. If we die, we die. It's not my choice whether we do or not. That's for uh, fate to decide. No, that, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, well, I have no fate or destiny. I very much decide live. Yeah. Should, uh, of course. Uh, so, heads up. Don't pull any blasters in the throne room or anything or I try anything stupid. Don't own a blaster. I mean, why would I have to pull blaster in there in the first place? I'm just saying. If somebody feels unsettled. Do they have a weapons check or something? Oh, no. We're not going to disarm you. If you feel ballsy to attack, 
us in a place that's heavily guarded, that's that's on you and your stupidity. Not I'm still the asking between questions. Fate and stupidity. Why, why would I need to pull Blaster in there? Eh, we, uh, maybe we've had people in the past that come saying they just want to see and are in peace and end up trying to attack. What happens if someone flips a coin and you want to shoot it again? I look over. She looks over at the Jawa. I pick up gonna... a pebble and throw it at it. By the force don't let this Jawa do anything stupid. By the force don't let this Jawa do anything stupid. Hey, <laughs> now she hey, hey, will hey, slowly. Now she will look at Remy. I'm just, I'm just tossing a pebble in the general direction of a coin. Now she will look at Remy and say, "You truly have your work cut out for you." Uh, not as crazy on for taxi. He's fine. He means well. He yeah, will get us all killed if he's not careful. Well, or the very nah. but Lady, on... I've been through shit you could never believe. Yeah, and based on what you said... I don't want to, you, to right? imagine the shit you've been through. Like, fate decides when you die or not, or something like that, so why do you care? I was, See, I was fate, wondering what that spell was. Diff... There's a difference between fate and stupidity. Yeah, that's why I usually ask questions before I go randomly meet people that are claiming to be gods. Well, I would, you mean to tell me you wouldn't take the opportunity to go meet gods? Well, I mean, based off the information I got, he's not a god. So, uh, now she wants to try and pull Remy aside just for a moment. Sure. She's like, she, she's like, you see how she has like, this presence about her? She seems pretty, like, sure about herself. But when you pull her aside, she's like, blushes, like, super weird. Like, she's like, eh. like, right, like, she's very much all talk, but. Yeah, she, she has no idea what to uh, do when people are pull her aside or something like that. Also, I should have mentioned this before. She ha uh, now she has a very like distinct click whenever she's walking around because she carries the cane with her. Yeah, sure. And she'll like once they're aside, Remy uh -huh. will. I mean, not Remy. Now she will look to Remy and say, <clears throat> "Look, I don't truly believe in this person as a god, but I simply respect their beliefs. If they believe you, if they believe this person is a." God, then who am I to say they're wrong or they're not a god? Oh, okay. So that's why I say, please just go along with it. If they say, oh, he's all powerful, please bow down, just bow down. Let's not get all killed because if if he is truly a man, like you say, and he goes around calling himself a god, no doubt his ego is through the roof. Sure. Uh. Yes, I guess. Uh, but if he tries anything, I'll I'll protect you. Don't worry. Thank you. As um, she slowly walks back. Yeah, through like smile, like okay. <laughs> Please don't like the thing where you push the fingers together, like. <laughs> He's in, yeah. Like, he okay. just slowly looks down and say, "Darling, I don't know how to tell you this, but I mean this in the nicest way possible. I'm far out of your league." Yeah. Uh, your age league. As she says, she says, um, I'm out of your league. Your age league. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, she's like, this looks embarrassed. Kind of. And yeah, she'll, um, she'll go back to the, the group. She'll start, uh, she'll slowly look towards Nicolas and take out a data pad and start to sketch his outfit. Um, uh, if you open question. up my character sheet, you'll see the whole uh, character image. Question for you, uh, Sweet. Does your character have like a certain logo for their designs and stuff they would put on clothing? I would assume so, but I don't have anything made right okay. now. All right, just wanted to ask. But yeah, um, now she is just basically standing over here, got a doodling on her data pad, uh, ideas for outfits inspired by Nicholas's. I think you're the same age as 
uh, Remy's mom? I'm 36. 36, okay. So Remy's mom's like, I think 38. They're two years younger than Katex. I think I think Z was 20, right? So Remy's 18, so that'd be 38. Uh, no, Z would be... Z would be in her 40s by now, because I calculated Katex's age out to be exactly. He was about... He was like 17 in uh, the oh, Friday game, and so okay. the time passage. I mean, and he's 38 now. I'll go so. check what is in the other game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remy's 22. So she'll be 40, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Remy's like, uh, sure. I get, uh, you. You guys want to. Do. Uh, like, yeah, Z stole a little. I mean, Remy stole a little, like, flustered or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nicholas would head over to Katex. Yeah, yeah. Would you see, like, Katex is, uh, fiddling with some of his, uh, uh, tool it tooling his mechanical arm is like you know you know a uh, welding torch right now. Uh, <clears throat> he's he's uh, making something. <laughs> Would you happen to have uh, that paperwork ready, Katex? Hmm. Eh? Eh? He, he he looks like he looks up to you like a child playing with his toys. Uh no, I busy here. Uh, where be ya? Um, <clears throat> be ya. <laughs> print out other another non disclosure agreement. The, yeah, the the one the one core Cora write up for us that we can print over of it. Roger Roger, Katex. <laughs> she'll she'll handle that. She'll have that to us in a few minutes. Alright. Uh, while they're settling that, Remy will approach now other way around. Nausha will approach Remy, and she'll say, This place is very massive. You aren't kidding. You think you could give me the rundown of this place? A tour of sorts? Yeah, she looks like, Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Thank you, your doll. Miles. Um, yeah, so she takes you around. <laughs> she shows you all the random locations. Anything in particular, like you... I don't know if you can see the, uh... The, the yeah, yeah, manifest? Yeah, yeah, the manifest stuff, yeah, I was looking for it on the map. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he says, uh, yeah, this was this was my mom's like uh he said it was a dungeon. A I don't know dungeon? what he said it was. He said it was for like uh adult stuff. Let me see what this adult stuff is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 locked, but yeah. And she hmm. says, "This was my mom's room, and that was over there was uh, a guy named Ivar's room, I think, and he blew it up. Really weird. Oh my! I think it was full of ice too. Some Santa guy. Oh, what? She just says, yes, of course, that's perfectly normal. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, this is the kitchen. And the place where they hung out. And this is my mom's old ship when she was, like, younger and adventuring around the galaxy. And she let me use it. And, uh-huh. And she's like, that's the kitchen. And, like, yeah, she eventually brings you back to the top. She's like, yeah, and the bedroom's up here is mine. I have the uh, nice... And she, like, brings you inside, like, look at all my clothes. And she's, like, showing you all, like, the nice clothes she has. Like, hmm. these are her toys, basically. Her nice clothes. So she's going to walk over to your closet and base and open it up and say, find selection from the future. Like, uh -huh, uh -huh. I only get the best. Three is one. She uh, takes out her data pad and says, you, since this is from the future, you wouldn't mind if I got a bit uninspired, would you, or got a bit uncreative, would you? Yes, fine. And I'll just start, like, basically uh, copying down what the clothes look like so I could release them in the future. Yeah. 
So like normally out of character, Remy was like, I don't know if we should tell people stuff, right? But I, I haven't said like Remy gets like you, yeah, you pretty women can like kind of wrap Remy around their finger, right? Like, yeah. I think my charisma modifier is even eighteen. Yeah, Remy's is pretty. And, and, also, you're literally no. doing exactly part of Katex's plan right now, taking other people's shit so you can make claim you invented it. <laughs> it's like funny okay, you look at this thing, you start like writing stuff down, and you notice that you're like, I guess your tag's already on it, maybe like a future tag. Like, oh, that's a cool tag. I'm yeah. gonna use that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm. I'm just. Um, I'm basically copying what is being seen, and I plan on just stamping my sigil, whatever that is, on it. And yeah, as I'm saying, it. like, it's like if you it's look at like the a, sigil, it's like a grandfather paradox. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Like you look at the sigil, and you're like, oh, that's a really cool sigil. I'm going to use that, right? And it's like that becomes your sigil and whatever. Like, yeah. So whatever's on it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm also. I also plan on apparently copywriting the symbol of the empire. Mm-hmm. What is it? Because I took the thing from Katex that he. I think it was Katex who gave it to me. The symbol of the empire had like sin. something on it. It was sin. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it, it was sin. Ah, it was right. a symbol, right? Sin gave me that. I believe it was like a. Was it a handkerchief or something? It was a a ripped piece of cloth that had the uh, imperial insignia on it. Ah, okay. Thank you for that, by the way. Yeah, and... uh, where are Sen and Nicholas right now? Um, I'm not sure where we are, but Sen was yeah, going yeah. to offer Nicholas if he wanted to play a game of Bazak. Mm, I I'm not very good at these games. I prefer to not gamble. Oh, we're not gambling for anything, simply to pass the time. Mm. Alright, I suppose I can play one game if you could Teach me how to play. And he shall do that. He'll actually come over to kind of where these crates are, pull one, and kind of sit on it as he's taken out his Bazak deck uh, out of a pouch on his uh, on his armor. And he gives you, like, the basic rundown of how Bazak works. Um, and essentially, you, most of the best strategies to win Pazak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys play a game. Yeah. And then we, we play like a, a few practice matches. Yeah. And that's that's pretty much how you do it. Um I know it's seen as a gambler's game, but there's a bit of finesse needed to play it properly properly at least. I can see why many a person would appreciate this game. It takes a degree of skill and a degree of luck. Something every soldier needs, at least as much as I was told. Mm. You're a soldier? Are you, uh, what year are you from? Well, used to be a soldier. I am from a time where... Uh, Jedi were all but extinct, and the Sith Empire basically ruled everything. Mm. Mm. Could Sith you Empire would not oh, uh, said wouldn't know that it'd just be called the Empire, not the Sith Empire. Yeah, the Sith Empire. I mean, he was alive before he was alive before Order sixty six. Yeah, but that the Sith Empire is forgotten knowledge. Right. Okay, you're right. So it would just be the Empire. You're, yeah, okay. the Empire and the Galactic Empire are two very different things. Yeah, gotcha. And the only reason, the yeah. only chance that you would have is when Thrawn would go out seeking artifacts about certain knowledges that's been hidden, mm-hmm. lost. So you probably okay. came across Sith text stuff, you know about the Sith Empire, just certain little text, but that's about it. Gotcha. Hmm. So could you? Give me an exact year as to what year you're from. Uh, what was it? It was. Or, I think he's from like. I think I said for him it was like two BBY. 
whatever that would be converted to the other galactic calendar. Uh, two before the Battle of Yavin. Um, yeah, two years before the first movie. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Don't know off the top of my head. Um, the the actual galactic calendar is really weird. It's best to not bother with it. Yeah. yeah so base whatever the equivalent of uh, two BBY would be. Hmm. And you said that the Jedi are all but extinct. Could you give me more information as to why that is? Well, it's pretty easy. Once the Galactic Empire took over, they destroyed the Jedi Order with all the clones, turned them on them. I don't know the specifics of exactly how they turned the entire clone army on the Jedi, but eradicated good chunk of them. And then afterwards, the Empire created the Inquisitors to hunt down the rest remainder of the Jedi. Do you to happen to know who created the Empire? Who read it? Who created the Empire? Well, that would be Lord Sidious. You wouldn't know it was Lord Sidious. You would know it as... Would it, would I know him as Palpatine? Well, Emperor, Emperor Palpatine. Palpatine. Okay, so I would have known him as Emperor Palpatine, not Darth Sidious. Okay, that was hidden from a lot of people, but his oh. apprentice. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Emperor mm -hmm. Palpatine. Was the galaxy weren't aware. Of Emperor this. Palpatine. That wouldn't happen to be uh, Sheev, would it? Yes, it would. Former senator, I believe. Uh, you'd see Nicholas uh, sort of lean back a little bit and uh, put his put his uh, hand on his chin and uh, uh, uh. so what is this? What is this? Um, hmm. Any more events you can share with me about this? I... this is my future, after all. Well, first I have to ask, are you a Jedi? No. Sith? No. I do not know what a Sith is. Hmm. I suppose I could share some more. Um... I can tell you that uh, the Inquisitors were probably the scariest thing in the galaxy for a time, uh, led by Lord Vader. Whatever Force-sensitive Jedi or otherwise they could find, they either killed or converted in their order in that damned Inquisitorious. You say that like you do not approve, I assume? I am... My current views do not align with the Galactic Empire or any of their... surrogates. Mm. What was your turning point, then? Because it seems that you have quite the knowledge of everything that happened. Well, uh... I was telling the others earlier, the reason I got to this time was because we were in a heavy skirmish, me and my squad, and as squad leader, I had to get them evacuated to safety as a tactical retreat. I stayed behind to make sure that was done, but I was stuck in the middle of the war zone. I was able to find a, a downed ship I could make quick repairs to, but I was pursued, and the ship was heavily damaged. And when I tried to go into hyperdrive, the hyperdrive failed and brought me to this time, and I crash-landed, and I was in a coma for about a month or two. 
when I woke up, I was paralyzed, and a Jedi is the person that brought me out of that paralysis. Interesting. Hmm. So, from what I'm getting, is that Shiv Palpatine created the Emperor, the Empire, which you call Galactic. I assume what you mean by that is it spans most of yes. the known galaxy. As far as I know, they are hesitant to deal with anything coming out of hut space, but the core worlds are theirs completely. Hmm. I'll have to think about this information. Thank you. Right. And thank you, as he kind of like weighs his bizarre deck for helping them pass the time. And then, uh, Nicholas yeah. would get off of a uh, crate and start heading over to. Where you could text and no, no, like, like, okay. So right, as you're getting up, you hear like, you hear like uh, metal clanging noises in the vents. As uh, out of out of this closet, you see Katex crawling out with one of the vet uh, vents like unscrewed and opened up. Eh. Last time I forget it, I accidentally locked the door to the engineering room and leave the key outside. Uh, <clears throat> uh Nick, or Nick, oh, Nick. Yes. Paper. <laughs> Just hold, hold it up. Oh. And then, uh, you know, she, she had Cora's, one of Cora's remaining documents saying they, they cannot plagiarize or steal any information you share yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had Cora <laughs> make this up like a long ass time ago and just, uh, it's his go to non disclosure agreement thing. Uh, however, Nicholas first. would, uh, head over to Katex. Yeah. Oh, first, and, uh, first, real quick. Uh, Sen. Uh, back, back at place with, uh, with Dragon. Uh, I, I saw you got very scared by a thing I did. I, I wish to apologize for me frightening you like that. Mm -hmm. he, 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 like, he, like, pulls out this, uh, a little, little, uh, Durasteel sculpture of a crate dragon. I saw he. <laughs> He's offering it up to you. <laughs> Slowly roll. Scared about what? What are you talking about? Mm, you seem very, you seem very upset when I, when I, uh, Mess with coin. No. Sen didn't didn't react much when you were shooting the coin. Oh, did I mix that up for somebody else? I think you mixed that up for somebody else. Okay, then that doesn't happen at all. Never mind. Never mind. That is very. That is a okay, friend. Yep. Yep. There's that awkward feeling. It'll pass. It'll <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Was it yeah, a Mandalorian yeah. <laughs> that was weird? Were you shot? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Nicholas would take the papers and sort of read through them. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's like all the stuff in there just like, you know... Uh, any profits to come from this information go to, you know, go to this bank account, uh, under this name, blah, blah, uh, any, uh, you know, you are not, you are not to, uh, you know, use this information without permission of X, you know, uh, hold, holder of contract, uh, you know, a bunch of other just, you know, you can't do X thing with X knowledge thing, you know, uh -huh. however, there's one last clause at the bottom. Violation of this contract is punishable by airlock. <laughs> Don't mind if I ask, but why exactly are you having people sign documents? I did this myself. I... Well, you've given me information, but that's not enough. Uh, this Jawa here has... A database that I can access. The more information I get about my future, the the better. That's fair. I'm just I'm just curious as to why he's having you sign something for it. Cause trade secret. Big money and info. 
And Sin kind of just like shrugs, like, I got a point. Yeah. I have many, many secret things. Then, uh. Yeah. Um, you'd see. Oh, wait. Uh, hmm? Oh, so sorry. Uh, regular version has has airlock death clause. I give me a sec. Get rid of that. Just, like he just scratches it out. Just like squiggles in some other thing. Other thing about your bank accounts being drained instead. <laughs> death okay, by bankruptcy. Okay, there we go. That much more fair. All right, I can, I can live with this. And then I uh, use the lost to sign it. it. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he like folds, he like folds that away. Oh, I should go let Bia out of engineering room. She no fit invent. And then, and then she like walks through, walks through this door here. Katex, I figured out the problem with the door. It was push, not pull. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he, he like hands her off the documents. Go make like three billion copy. <laughs> she gets off. So what's going on with uh? In Remy's room. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a uh, Remy over here fangirling that a el an older woman is in there checking their stuff. Yeah, like Remy. Remy's like pretty sure of herself and very like confident and all that stuff. But when she's like um, in a one on one with the three ladies, she, she's very yeah. No, it's it's fine. She's very simple. We understand. Oh yeah, well, like no. Hold on now. Because like yeah, Remy's more like like like. Pretty pretty dominant personality, right? But then when yeah, she she becomes very submissive and like one on one with three. She's like, uh oh, what do I do? Right? Like I said, she's a lot of all talk pretty much. But yeah, so she's like sitting there, just like standing, like so. uh Yeah, do you want you want me to get you something to drink or something? You you okay? No, I don't drink. Bad for the skin. Three. What? Bad for the skin. What? What? Your mother never tell you about the correlation between acne and alcohol. Oh, oh, alcohol. Oh, yeah, alcohol. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't drink yet, can you? Uh, I, mean, I can if I really wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it. Bad experiences. Oh. Okay. Um. But yeah, do you want something else to drink? No, I'm fine as of now. Let's get out of the stuffy room. Okay, where do you want to go? Hmm. Do you happen to have, say, a workshop? Uh, Other than where I can work on clothing in peace? Uh, we have a med bay and an engineering bay. I'm sure you can use something like that. Hmm. Yeah, Perhaps, there's but... There's lots of rooms. Hmm, yes, of course. And she'll slowly just like um, put like her her hand to her own forehead and say, "Ah, oh, of course, all well, my fabric burned up in that explosion." Oh, uh, we can get you some more. Yes, of course, but um, after, after, darling. Okay. And she'll slowly um, walk over here and say, "Oh, is, is that future tech?" And she'll point to the computer. Yeah, yeah, I guess computer. Hmm, interesting. And she'll um slowly walk out you want to and Oh she'll stand in the doorway and say, Oh, you were saying something. Yeah, do you want to use it? I hmm, let's see. And she'll like sit down and uh what would be do we do you get Google on this? Has Google been made obsolete? <laughs> What is it? What was it? What would you call it in the future? Or what was it? The, the Google. What was it? Was it called Al Qaeda? Was it the Hollow Net? What, 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 what was the Google? The Hollow Net. Like, like, what, what, like, what, did, what did we Google stuff on? We Googled a lot in the other game. We we said space Google basically space Google? all the time. Basically, every website is just space that. Yeah, space. sure. Uh, do you have space Google? 
Yeah, I mean, it should. Uh, out of character, is it the same stuff at this time, too? Should be. The hull on it doesn't really vary that much. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. hasn't changed that much. It's just, your ship would have recordings of Z, Chain, Ivar, yeah. and shit like that saved to your ship's memory banks. Sure. Oh, I thought we'd be stuck with Space Bing. Yeah. It's like, no, we got everything. It's like super nice, super speed. Uh -huh. No way in hell Katex will let that happen. <laughs> and um, now show it's, operate, will... it's like operating on Space Vista. <laughs> uh, I think I own a Space Vista. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, now show will sit down and just like Google. I don't know. Just uh, does this thing is this thing work to like the future Hollow Net or this current one? Once once you guys get into the range, which you guys would have, it'd be the current time Hollow Net. Only thing that's different is the videos and stuff that's saved on the ship's memory, which yeah. are dated for a different time. Yeah, they're probably like random things that are like Remy's mom doing really cool <laughs> stuff. I was about to say, I'm probably not going to poke through your personal files right in front of you. That'd be weird. Yeah, and but... so instead, when she realizes that it's just the current holonet, she'll stand up and say, oh, it's just the current, it's just um, the up-to-date version. Mm -hmm. I should have expected that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, old woman. Oh. No, you're, like, really pretty. Thank you. That's, what I, that's why I take good care of my skin. Okay, guess that's fair. Now then, what do you think this god is going to be like? Uh, I had to guess. There'll be someone like my mom that's really strong and powerful and has a lot of people that like her because she's strong and powerful. Was your mother ever in the Jedi Order? No. She was a Sith. Mm. Then there's no chance I ever met her, unfortunately. Are you a Jedi? Was a Jedi. We didn't see eye to eye. I haven't met a Jedi before. Well, I would say you're talking to one, but you were talking to one who was a Jedi for about 13 years I gave them. No, no, more like 16. Mm -hmm. That's because, because what I heard was the Jedi are like silly people. They like they have all these like weird rules that are very like stuffy and stuff, and they don't let you like do a lot of fun stuff. Oh, I understand perfectly why they do it, but it's just simply not for everyone. Yeah. You see, they believe in the perfection of the body, the mind, and the soul. Okay. Uh, my mom took some of the stuff that Jedi used and some of the stuff that Sith used to make her uh, new Sith. New Sith? I was always taught... Uh, you see, unlike the Jedi that I know, mm -hmm. she, they, I don't believe that the Sith are inherently evil. They simply have different ways of looking at things. Yeah. These different ways of things happen to involve hurting lots of people. So the way my mom explained it was, people are going to do things, and sometimes it's bad things, and sometimes it's good things, but if it's bad things, and you tell them like, hey, stop doing bad things, and they say no, and then you like hit them or something, say stop it, and they go, no, we're going to keep doing it, then you keep hitting them, and if they keep doing it, then you might have to kill them eventually. But... If you say, hey, stop it, and they go, no, and then you hit them, and they go, okay, we'll stop. It's like, okay, then everything's fine. So, tell them about, like, discipline people and, you know, just people not being bad. You just went around and stopped bad people from doing bad things. My question for you is, and she'll, like, turn around to face her, uh -huh. why, why is the first reaction... I mean, why is the first goal after encountering a problem violence? You encounter the problem after saying not do it, but if they say no, why not say why not? I mean, why do you keep doing it? Instead, you immediately strike them. Well, that's not immediate. They usually talk, right? A lot of times they attack her first. Like, she'll say, like, 
hey, stop, that's not good. And they'll go, no. And she'll say, stop, or I'm going to have to hurt you. And they're like, no. And then sometimes they'll go, no, and attack her. So, you know. Perhaps. Usually I suppose. she tries to not, you know, hurt people. I suppose being an, what was I called again, an inquisitor? Uh-huh. They remind me a lot of, they sound a bit like Jedi Temple cards to me, from the way you're describing her actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was like, there was no Jedi or Sith when she was around. So she just kind of like remade the stuff. Like she, she took the good stuff from both that she liked and made her own thing. And I see. At the time, the Empire was around, so she just kind of became part of the Empire as like the new Sith, and then she got the title Inquisitor from the Empire, and then she just kind of worked with them. She seems to hold the same view of the Force as I do. Mm. I I kind of feel the same way too. Sounds really smart. That must mean you're really smart too. Smart and then, thank you. Then you agree with what, with a bit of my philosophy then. The Force is like a credit, and she'll take out a credit from her pocket. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, this one credit has seen more action than either of us could think of. Perhaps this credit was used to create an orphanage on some downtrodden planet. Or it was used to fund a giant laser used to destroy planets. We may never know. But that's the power of the credit. The credit is whatever you make it to be. The credit is not evil, nor is it good. It is a tool. Remy, yeah. you notice after the, uh, the words has seen more use, random compartments start opening up in this room that you're standing in? Uh -huh. do, do I know what the oh. apartment is? Oh no, but the objects coming out of it, you your study because you want to be just like your mom. Uh -huh. Notice all of the fine leather whips and stuff that's coming out of these drawers. Hmm. Uh, sh sh now she will just, like, glance into... Where is this compartment? Uh, two of them are opened here on this wall. She'll approach this, look inside, look back at Remy and just say... Okay, I'm going to turn around. You're going to close that. I'm going to pretend I didn't see this. What's in it? Um, not nice things. She says, trying to kick it closed, like, uh, put her foot over on top of it and, like, sh shut it. Oh. Okay. That pushes mm -hmm. it closed, I guess. Yes, um, very much not nice things. Anyways, um... Good. There are voice activations on this ship. Oh. Apparently, I triggered one. From what I know, it's supposed to be kind of an old ship, but I guess since it's from the future, it's a new ship, and it has a lot of nice upgrades. Mm -hmm. My uncles added a bunch of stuff to it. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I'd like to meet your family one day. They seem like quite the powerful group. Oh, they are. Very powerful. Yeah, that would be and I've, been meaning, I've been meaning to ask, Remy, what's your last name? I prefer calling my friends by their last name. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, he's like, uh, Yami. Miss Yami, I understand. Uh, you can call me Remy, it's fine. Hmm, I see. I... I'm so used to talking in such a formal way. Yeah. I am always used to calling people by their last names. Did I call you by your last name? If you want to. My name is Nausha Valatha. What do you prefer? I prefer Miss Valatha. Okay, Miss Valatha. 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 Okay. Okay, Miss Valatha. And uh, she'll say... Is there anything else to the ship that's of wor that's worthy of note? Oh, um, well, there's a meditation room and a shooting range, I think. And uh, what uh, other character? What else is left, Ragnar? What what's actually put in this thing? I told you just put a bunch of random crap you thought what should be here. Do what now? 
what 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 is on the ship that's of note that you upgraded? And it's the uh what chain would do to on like Z's ego when it comes to women and stuff. After everything that happened, that was just random shenanigans I put aside for myself. Uh, you know that. Uh, da, 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 where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Your ships. Oh yeah, we have a ship. Um, thing, don't we? Yeah, it should be in your bio so far. Like everything that was added by Chain using Mad's fucking life insurance policy after Mad dies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you look in player ships, the Z team ship, that's that's everything that's on the ship, I guess. It was added minus the normal part of the ship. It's already been there. So she just takes you and does all that, I guess. Oh my, there's a lot of stuff here, that's for sure. Yeah, my family's great. Hmm. That's why she's just uh, looking around, and once they get to the shooting range, say, hmm, how proficient are you with a gun? Uh, not very good at all. I never I don't shoot guns. Oh, guns are my specialty. At the very least, one gun. Ooh. Uh, one gun? Is it, like, is it special? I've had it since, um... I gained my independence from the, what do you call it, the Jedi Order. You see, the Jedi don't like guns. Yeah. So you're really good with it? So uncivilized. It's, it's the only gun I like. And it's, no, it's no blaster. There's nothing like hot steel. Oh, it hit really hard? It hurt? I, I would hope. Yeah, Chances are, if I'm aiming a gun at something, it's not something I like. Yeah, I, I'm not really good with shooting guns, but I'm good at not getting shot by them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like really, really fast. I Would actually... you like to put that to the test? Sure. Let's head to the range to make sure no mess is made. Okay. So we head to the range. Range is like at the bottom over here. Yeah, it'd be right there. I just have to get the targets and stuff. Okay, what are we gonna do? Now the question is, do you want to test how fast you are, or, how, or do you wish to train yourself in the way of the gun? Um, well I already know I'm really fast, so... In whichever one you prefer. Uh, I'll reach to the holster on my side and take out the gun I have on me, the heavy slug pistol. Mm -hmm. I'll load it and hand it to her. I'll teach you how to use this, at least as best as I can in one day. Okay. Like and, they, and I'm going to, like, get behind her and guide her on, like, how to shoot, how to shoot accurately, make sure you don't have your finger on the trigger all the time, things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, if you're, like, getting all the close and stuff, like, you could... Right, she's like melting, right? Like she's just kinda like, ah, oh, I'm being taught yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Ma'am, this is purely professional. Let's keep it professional. Yeah. That's yeah. What, um she tells her. Yeah, like what she like yeah, she's she's just like, Oh yeah, I'm just like it, it looks like she's trying, but just like she yeah, it's yeah. Hmm. And Sully she'll step back. I can see that your feelings are getting in the way. Right. And She'll hold on. Let, let's see. Did I? No, I did not. I could have sworn. No, I got rid of it. Damn. I used to have the spell, um, Force Mask, the one that lets you change your appearance. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, basically, she's going to say, Let go of your feelings. If it helps, do what I do. Let the Force guide your actions. Yeah, the Force doesn't really like me. Oh? I don't think the Force can like or dislike something. No, it specifically doesn't like me. Why doesn't the Force like you? I don't know, that's why I'm here. Oh? Yeah, she looks like What does sad. that mean? She's like... See, my mom's like really, really powerful. 
both my moms are actually, like super calm. But like when I was little, my mom told me that like I'm gonna be the greatest force user in the galaxy. And she can like sense it, right? And she told me this, told me like I'm really powerful. Like probably the most powerful person in the like universe. And she says, I just gotta get trained, now I'm gonna be really strong. And I started training with her, and all that stuff happened, and then my sister trained with us, and I never got any force powers. Nothing ever happened. And you know, my sister, my sister's really strong too. She got force powers. And she's super lucky. She she's a baby. I don't like her. But she's like I don't know. It this the force never gave me any powers. Which, you know, people tell me, like, oh, not everyone gets force power. But that's the thing. Not just force powers. Like, the force can't touch me. Like, you have, you have, you have force powers. Yes. Can you? Uh, can Remy, you? Let, let me tell you something. The people are right. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, you were saying something? Well, I was saying you have force powers, right? Can you can you hurt yes. people with your force powers? I'd prefer not to, but it can be done. Okay, try it. Do it. Try to hurt me with it. Uh, I'll let's see what force powers do I have that can hurt. I think I have exactly one. Hmm. Yes, spirit blade. Okay. Yeah. So she just like stands there and it's like just holds her like hands up, like do it, do what you gotta do. I don't know what you can do, but do it. Oh, hold on, I didn't set this up. I, my power attack is plus six. Okay, you you hit. Like, you, you crit, whatever, I don't care. Like, you hit or whatever. Sure. Uh, that, that would miss, yeah, but... Um, that would miss, but Remy's not trying to, de de like, right? He just let you hit her. But, mm -hmm. real quick, no. so, me, would notice this spirit blade that you've used, this force blade. Mm -hmm. It's Remy. Doesn't seem to actually affect her in any way. Yeah, like you just like nothing's physically happening at all. She'll just take a step back. Remy, what you have is very special. See, I get told that too, but it doesn't feel very special. Look, Remy, you may not be able to lift things with your mind or anything like that, or conjure lightning from your fingertips, but you have something better than all of that. For well, the people who can conjure lightning from their fingertips and slice you up with psychic blades, mm -hmm. you, they are they are powerless before you. Yeah, I know that. I tell them that. They don't get it, though. And then they try stuff on me. It doesn't work. And then there's like, uh-oh. How did this happen? I don't know. That's why I'm here. So all I know is I researched a whole lot in my time and nothing made sense. And then I found something mm. That led me to this time um, about a group called the Ones. No one's ever heard of it, but apparently they're they're here or something. They have something to do with it. Yeah, they're I've supposed to be like them. they're supposed to be like really like God Force peoples. Mm, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I know. But no one do you mind if I try something about the Force in you? Yeah, sure. Go for it. I want to see if guidance will work on her, it like does, just um, the positive work. spell guidance. Nope, doesn't work. Hmm. I can't even assist you with the force. Yeah, yeah I is... It's like good and bad stuff. There's nothing affects me. There's no nope. force isn't like me. I don't know how to tell you this. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, no one, no one has apparently, even in my time. Uh, slowly she'll like widen her eyes. What do you know about the prophecy? Um, that's pretty much what I'm supposed to be, according to my mom. So you are the chosen one. Uh, apparently there was another chosen one or something like that, but not like that chosen one. All I know is I've heard tales of the, at the Jedi Temple of the prop the prophesized one, the chosen one. He who will bring balance to the Force. Oh, no, I don't, I don't think that's me. That was someone else, I think. I, out of character, do I know there was someone else like that, or do I know anything about that? Your, your mom would know that the future one that brought balance to yeah. the Force would be Luke Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Person she hates. 
I know, but but nerd. Yes, I know. I know. Yeah. So yeah, this is honestly gonna be the most difficult part of the campaign for me. Yeah. (laughs) You're just like, that's not true. It's like, but it is. Like, oh no. Yeah, so she's like, yeah, yeah, that, the Tawina character, she's like, yeah, the prophecy, that's, that's not me, that already happened. There's already, like, balance in the force and all that stuff, I think, but apparently I'm, like, the next prophecy. So, mine's, like, uh, everybody, pro- it's not, like, a Jedi one, it's not the Sith one, it's just, like, everyone. But it's really just my mom, so, she's really smart, like you, so, you know, must be true. Sure, sure. <clears throat> She'll just slowly nod her head and say, You are an anomaly, and I wish to know more about this. Okay. But I'm I'm afraid I don't have the the means to study such a thing right now. Okay. Uh well I mean if it makes you happy and it can help me, I mean I can get whatever you need. I don't even know where to start is the bad part. Mm. But science and force shenaniganery is not my strong suit either. Mm-hmm. My strong suit is beauty. Ooh. That's nice too. I like pretty things. Beauty is my business, darling. Oh. Yeah. I don't have any businesses yet. My mom has lots of businesses, but well, I don't have any yet. If you're rich, what's stopping you from investing in a business of your choice? Oh no, well, my mom has lots of businesses. That's how we. That's why we're rich. That's Are you mom. rich? Yeah. Hmm. Then why not start up business? Something you're good at. Um. Adventuring. You're good at adventuring, aren't you? No, never adventured. This is my first adventures. Ah. Um. There has to be something you're good at. Well, I'm, like I said, I've, I've trained my whole life. I'm good at beating people up and, you know, that kind of stuff. Bounty hunter, then, or yeah. bouncer. Yeah, like, my mom was a bounty hunter for a long time, so I was going to try that out. Whatever you do, I'll be following because I am very interested in what you do. <laughs> and not to mention, I'll be traveling to many places where I can study the local culture. Okay, and she like really blushes and does the finger thing, and she's like, okay, that, that's nice, that'll be nice. Bye, Ashla, I think I'll have to wear a mask when I'm around you. Make sure you don't explode. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I exploding? It's like, looking at her. <laughs> she's, like, she's like confused, right? She's just like, I don't know what's... Yeah, I'll try not to explode. And, uh, either way, she's still going to try and teach her how to use the gun. Yeah, she'll, she'll try. I mean, I guess she's, I don't care, she's probably pretty good at it, right? She has really high deck, so, I mean, is it, is it a deck space gun? Yes, it's just a heavy slug pistol. Yeah, so, I, I, I guess I'll just roll a d20 plus deck, see how well she shoots it. Um... Do I have any special modifiers for this? Because I'm being helped by, I guess, someone at no. I don't know. It's like, is there anything? No, you it? wouldn't have. You you wouldn't have advantage of being taught. But well, I thought, uh, wouldn't I just be giving? Wouldn't this just be like the aid action? Yeah, like, or the yeah, help action? Help yeah, action, yeah, that, that makes yeah. Sense. And you can't have disadvantage since I have the help, the assisting style. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't matter. They just lack proficiency. Okay, he's he's a. Slightly, ever so slightly above average, I guess. I guarantee you, I'm, you're going to shoot better than me, because let's see. Wait, power cell? Question, do we hear gunshots in the <laughs> interior of the ship? Oh yeah, you would hear it. it it's not like multiple is just depending on if they shut the door behind them you'd hear it um, i i assume she was leading the way because remy's just following like a like like a lost puppy yeah. pretty much right now so Wait, uh, what you, oh yeah i'm what is it i was not leading the way because i don't even i didn't even know where the shooting range was oh 
Okay. Well, she'd probably just be like, oh, it's over here. All right, yeah. Look, I think I was the last one in, and I don't know how to work these doors. So, yeah, I guess the door's open. That's fine. Okay, so yeah, we're probably hearing the gunshot noises. Bang, bang. Uh, and in which case, like, like you know, we're, we're like, talking about, about, like, the fucking, uh, like, contract and, and, you know, and shit, just, like, after, right after Katex hands it off to, like, like, Bia, and we, and we hear the gunshot noises, Katex, like, completely loses attention on the current subject, and it's like, <gasps> and runs off. <laughs> runs. The hell? I heard guns. Mm. Uh, Sin gets his cycler rifle, kind of at the ready as he kind of starts to move towards wherever the gunshot was heard. Um, so, so I guess you guys come down watching Remy shooting a gun at a target. Uh, Nicholas would take the time to, uh, since he's free from talking to everybody, he's gonna take a look around the area. If you're just looking around the ship, are you, like, trying to scope out the ship itself to see details, or just look around? Uh, look around and see what the different rooms are, you know. That's okay. really it. You come to a locked door if you go over here. It's super ominous. <laughs> Down by the sea door or whatever. Mm. Alright, Nicholas would leave the door alone, since, you know... It's rude to invade somebody's privacy. Yeah, it's like it looks like it's locked and it's been locked for a really long time. Like no one's opened it in a while. Alright. Uh what is number eleven? Because it says number eleven is this one, but that has a bunch of plants on it. Oh yeah, I think two of them are it's the hydroponic bit, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the hydroponic. I yeah, think it, I think two I of them. I don't know why it says yeah, two of them that. were messed up. On the one I had, I I changed it myself manually, but I guess on the old ones I didn't. This map, mm -hmm. but... Okay. Yeah, this is hydroponic stuff. Yeah, ten and eleven would be switched in that case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Um, there also was it rank weed. What's in there? It rank weed. Uh, those you somehow those plants found the that, right. Yeah, yeah the the plants the... that give you like. It's not Viagra, it's like, uh, fuck, what was it? Like an aphrodisiac plant or something that made you, like, very yeah. horny? Yeah, it was, like, very, yeah. There weren't even aphrodisiacs, they just grant extreme euphoria. Yeah. That's aphrodisiac. <laughs> no, a euphoria and aphrodisiac is a different thing. Uh, no, the yeah, so the hydroponic you... space just open to anybody, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Nicholas would be looking at all the plants in there and seeing what, uh, what species are there? What is uh? What was that? That flower, the zombie flower. What was that? Was that that was the, uh, yeah? That's the uh, that Murakami was, orchids. Yeah. We somehow barely managed to get two of them to grow the way we saw them on Dathomir. Oh, I don't know how how special is that plant. Very highly. <laughs> We've only been paid to keep two of them. So it's there. There's some very what black flowers. Is what they are. Yeah, black orchids. Okay, okay, there. Also, I fixed the I fixed the ten and the eleven. Sure. There you go. Yep. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So I assume. Uh. I assume that he finds these two black orchids that do not show up on any data records for being actual existing plants. Do they exist? Or... Your oh yeah, break. no, you yeah, they exist. Oh Just... they oh it's yeah, them? yeah, do you know that they're found in Dathomir? Is there any more information about them? Not much. Just they're actually not on Dathomir. Oh well yeah, not on Dathomir, my bad. Yeah, they're from That's... the Mercom system. Mm. Um but, but also like a better question, like uh uh, Nick is force sensitive, right? Yes, he is. You can probably sense the flowers because the flowers are sentient and force sensitive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh no, that's ooh. Um. 
Uh, Nicholas would take out his uh, geneticist's uh, implements and uh, take soil uh, samples of the soil that they're in. You know, okay. get the uh, get the details about that, and um, then you'd make a mental note to come back to them after he figures out what the hell's going on. Yeah, <laughs> checks out what's up with the gunshots. You know. Yeah, uh, while you're in, while you're getting samples, uh, you'd see a small plaque by the flower saying "Do not touch property of Z, punishable by imprisonment or paying a lot of money." It's like "Don't touch Z special flower." Yeah, it's like <laughs> literally, yeah. And then on the back, it says "Don't touch anything belonging in this little room." And then you see cameras at all angles. There's like a little plaque that says "In, in like in memory of Stinky." <laughs> <laughs> um after after uh getting the data about the soil samples uh Nicholas would put the samples back where they were <laughs> oh no it's on camera <laughs> put them back well you know it's not it's not stealing if you're only collecting data about it and then putting it back Temporary bombing, yeah. yeah. Like you go to the bank, you rob them, you look at it, you give it back. Not something. Yeah. So no, what's happening? I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You know. it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. He's not here to stop you. It doesn't matter. You wouldn't do anything for that. So uh, yeah. So what's happening down at the shooty place? Uh, Tex basically PI'd. runs up to the firing oh. line and is shooting with you. Oh. Um, yeah, they just see me helping Remy. How how well is she is she shooting? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 20, a 17. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for the way she's acting, right? <laughs> And it's just a regular uh, heavy slug pistol? Yes, there's nothing really special about it. Uh, Sen kind of watching. Uh, make sure your feet are scented. There's okay. a lot of people here in very unfortunate areas. I'd hate for anyone here to be shot. Yeah, like, like as as you start, like, talking... Eh, not for this time. Like, you see Rumi, like, shake her head and blink, like, what? Like, oh, when did you guys get here? What's going on? See what I mean? She wasn't even looking, apparently. Or at least she didn't even notice you, apparently. Oh, I was. Uh, I mean, that's understandable. I kind of short. Yeah. Okay, uh, you somebody, could pass. Y'all can roll perception or investigation to, to try to see this weird thing. Just adding it in here for shits and giggles between two clones that were on the ship before. Is that Nutty? Penis? What? <laughs> Random penises. Oh. Oh, like. I know. Yeah, yes, room. kind of, yeah. Ruby is attracted. Okay. okay, so do do do. I think I'll see it. And yeah, uh, you guys would see it. Would Nicholas see it? I guess Nick is coming Remy's. down. Uh, Nicholas isn't there, so I'm not gonna roll for him. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess you can roll, right, so well. you see it if you come in, right? Yeah. But okay, so. Those who got above a 15. For some reason, there's a weird dildo just chilling behind the target. Okay. Uh, Katex blows it to smithereens. That's what, if, if that wasn't done, those she who got over Those who got over 20, you would also notice there's a weird slag mark next to the dildo. Yeah. A weird what? Slag. Oh, it's the dildo rockets. Yeah. It's the <laughs> <laughs> the one night of shenanigans. The what now? And Remy's like, "Good job, you hit the thingy." He doesn't know what it is. What is hey, going on on this uh... ship? First, I find first I find Remy's mother's the naughty chamber in it, her room, and then not, I find this. That was not Remy's mom's room. <laughs> That was not Remy's mom's room. That was the pilot's. Yeah. Wait, I thought 
I thought she said this used to be her mother's room. No, her mother's oh. room was the one below the locked room. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, oh, um, yes, you're right. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, this was the, the pilot room. So yeah, they had a they had a pir- a pilot NPC that they gave that room to because she was like, oh, I guess you're like the captain or the the pilot, so you can have that room. Like, yeah. So like Z or her mom is very like she was like poor and she didn't like the money she had. Like she wasn't like very like I want the nice right. But Remy's more of like that was given everything, so she's was more kind of like I want the nice room, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So either way, I mean, still I find the, the secret, the the pleasure room, and now this, and now the the rocket. There was a lot of sex in the show. Excuse me, excuse the what room? The all right, the, the naughty chamber in the room. The not. I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. I don't. Oh, you don't want to know. Also, while the dildo rocket may may seem may seem awful, honestly, when they coated the ship hangar bay had. You know, from ceiling to floor and mashed potatoes. That was honestly better. That's they didn't watch now. What is? <laughs> okay, memories, so, just memories. Uh, okay, so so ab- above game, uh, tomorrow's game. I I have a clone, and they have an NP- and they their cl- companion is another clone from the cl- Clone Wars, and we had a player before dropping out absurdly the way they did. We made a improvised rocket launcher that shot basically anything. The junk gun from like Fallout. Right? Yep, junk. Yeah. Yep, mm-hmm. the junk gun. So the main for non-lethals for a rocket launcher, we were using potatoes and dildos. Oh no! What? <laughs> what? I never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Know, those are those are Remy's completely uncles. understandable reaction. Yeah. Those are Remy's uncle. The- those are the ones she talked about that upgraded the ship and stuff like that. Oh no! <laughs> Two clones. So yeah. Maybe I don't want to meet Remy's family. Yeah, well, let me put it this way. Remy's, Remy's mom has two wives. Understandable. I, I, I don't care about that. Yeah. I mean, you've already, you've already met her crazy old Uncle Katex, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you're related to her, or is that like a friendly relation thing? This is more like friends become family type yeah. deal. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's why Remy has these weird feelings for like her. Like, yeah, she has her her mom that she looks up to has two wives, which are also like one of women. But yeah, so but Z is a a, a futa, whatever you want to call it, right? So yeah. <laughs> she's the mom dad, I guess. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, I'm curious if weird... Remy goes to go ever visits Grandpa Badoff. <laughs> I'm sorry, the what? The, visit who? <laughs> uh, uh... Paul Badoff. It's uh, yeah. one of our friends' backstory. They work for a hut. Well, technically, their adopted the father. father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Things, just said, keep... Things are quickly devolving. Yeah, yeah. I, I would assume Z owns part of a, a spice trade because of that. He made some kind of deal. Yeah. Part of her business she owned. Yeah, from with the hut. That's why That's why Remy was like, well, not all the huts are bad. <laughs> like, Aunt Cora's hut. Dad's a hut. So, yeah, so Remy's just, like, shooting a standing there, like, yeah, the bad room had, or the bad, I don't know. Yeah. This fellow just said there was, like, bad stuff in there? Don't worry about it, darling. It w- it was resolved. Okay. Wait, what you find? You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Um, trade secrets. <laughs> well played. Wait, Remy, this your ship. How someone else keep trade secret here without approval? I don't know. I never seen it. Remy, give me approval. Okay, you have approval. I have approval. I say, turning to to Katex. Fair enough. Katex takes another shot at the targets. You see, every time the pellets from his his shotgun impact, some of them like like spark up whereas others like ignite and rapidly incinerate themselves into dust some are just solid buckshot though is that wise to use on a ship yes <laughs> there, can, I in- can i insight those, check that the, those over there looking at the targets watching this as soon as a fire starts on one of the targets you immediately see an emergency fire uh, a fire extinguisher go off on them that's, I made that. <laughs> that's still very unwise. 
Yeah, that's why but, I made that. That's <laughs> surprisingly, Katex looking at this. This is the design that Chain stole from Katex. Yeah, one of our uncles stole it and tried claiming it, but I had patent. So, how do you pronounce your character's last name again? Balafa. Balafa. Okay. Yeah. Like, By the way, she she's just like, oh, God, well, yesterday was so much better. I wasn't with a whole bunch of psychopaths, or at least one psychopath that I know of. Remy's fine. You seem fine. I don't know about that one. Oh, thank you. Which one is, fine. you don't know about that one when you're pointing at them? <laughs> to text. Oh, it's a, it's a, yeah. Clearly to text. <laughs> I don't know, Patex. Miss Bluff is pretty smart. Maybe you shouldn't do it. What? I make countermeasure. Yeah. And what if you run out of countermeasure? Then I fix it. And if you don't have enough, uh, what's the word? What's the thing they put inside of fire extinguishers? What's it? Halon. Yeah. What if you run? Dioxide. What if you run out of that in the middle of flight? I load a normal shell. And how will that help the fire? Hmm? Remy, Allow I... Allow me I... to show you thing. Uh, thing? Oh like no, someone, over... someone come with me, like, I don't like trust myself text... alone. <laughs> like, text like... goes over to the, to the thing and, and like, pulls open, a, pulls open a, a hatch. See? See here? See here? The... <clears throat> This show fire suppression on. Then he like points up at, at at like next to one of the nozzles where it comes out. You see that red light? Red light turn on when no when no thing. I know when there are no no suppressor and it's present. Safe. I really don't take your word for it, but I have to. <laughs> Tex, you notice that some some of the tubing and shit for the fire extinguishers, one of them says connected to Z's hot tub. God damn it! There's a hot tub. I told you to not mess with that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was like, yep, yeah, really nice hot tub. Also, why is the world's loneliest chair over there? Uh, I don't know. Well, mm. I heard that one is the loneliest number. Um, hold on. You'd, uh, see the chair. If you got close enough to it, you'd see it says, Ivar's personal no-no s- oh. square. Oh. <laughs> Ivar's what, what, corner. <laughs> what, what happened here? Uh, I think... I think that's where the guy that blew up the room would go for a long time. Ugh, I... Slowly, I'm hating everything about this shit. I don't know. I think they specifically put it there so he wouldn't do anything anywhere else. Oh, that's okay. Continue. Yeah, he was apparently crazy. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he was a real jerk. The Ivar um, guy. What do I feel like? I'm starting to rethink this whole trip to see these gods. <laughs> Send. Sen would realize the name Ivar as the psychotic Mandalorian of the 501st. Uh, wait, you said Ivar? Huh? Does he currently stay on this ship? I oh, know he's dead. Nah, he got crushed on the mountain last time, ZC. Tell yeah, me. Like oh, thank the stars. I'm sorry, what's going on? Yeah, he, um, so my mom has this, like, power to, like, see the future. And there's this really crazy guy, right, named Ivar, that hung out with her. And he kept doing stuff that would get everyone in trouble, people hurt, and everyone's like, why is he staying around? And Z's like, don't worry about it, he has to stay around for a reason. The reason was because my mom saw that in the future, he would do something to sacrifice himself to save everybody. So she kept him alive. And then he sacrificed himself and saved everybody. And he got... And the mountain fell on him. Also and a bunch of zombies, too. The zombies? What's a zombie? Uh, it's like uh, a dead person 
that comes to life, but it's not the person anymore. Yeah, yeah, I knew it walks it. around I... and it's all gross. Yeah, and it... I knew a woman like that once. Oh. No, 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 no. So, like, someone's coming. Dead. Someone's coming. Starts, yeah. Oh. I didn't know oh, this thing you... was still on board. You make me food. So, oh, we're version. We're Darth Chef version 6800. I'm sorry. You make food. Darth Chef, uh. be good. Yeah, here's your coffee. Here's your daily coffee fix. Thank. <laughs> yeah, Katex's little mechanical claw, claw grabs it, bring, brings it up to his mouth where he pulls, yeah. pulls yeah. down a little, a little bit of his uh, facial masking. Sticks a straw in it to start drinking it. <laughs> she'll whisper to, um, what do you call it? Uh, now she'll whisper to Remy. No wonder he's short. Why is that? Drinking coffee makes you short. Really? What knows this? It stunts your growth. Oh. I don't normally drink it. Good. I've never drunk it. Yeah, I'm almost I... drinking coffee. Sorry, what was that? So my mom doesn't drink coffee, so I never drink coffee. Ah, interesting. Good woman. So, learn so much. You make sure alcohol is bad for the skin. Now, that way, I believe Sen was saying something before we got interrupted by um, Vlad? What was his name? Vald? The No No Corner Man. Rat Ivar. Ra Ivar. Ivar. I think it's Vlad. Anyway, so I believe Sen was saying something before that. I think we were talking about uh, the hot tub. Oh. I was just saying that Ivar was a... Uh, he was a trooper of the 501st Legion. Crazy fucker. Mm, 501st Legion. I, I suppose that's a future thing. Uh, uh, what is this about? But, uh, 501st Legion? Do you know a trooper by the name of Ivar? I do not. What is a trooper? He's from my time, I believe. A clone trooper. Uh, uh no, he what? He wasn't a clone trooper. He was a straight volunteer Please. Mandalorian who joined. So. Oh, okay. oh, okay. But that was during the time of the clone troopers, right? Oh, this was the time of the transitioning of the Empire, oh. recruiting human troopers, like yourself. Oh, okay. It's a long story. Just be happy that he's dead. Um, well... I... I suppose I'll find out more soon. Yeah, based off what everyone says, Gordon, like, they just, they say that, like, like that, with he's dead or whatever. But according to my mom, it's like he meant well. He just had problems that made him do really stupid things, right? The first oh. time I met him, as well as your mom, he 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 re he falsely reported me to local imperial authorities for illegal arms trafficking, mm -hmm. something I what? was not doing because I didn't give him a discount. I don't believe you. No, that makes sense. That's what happened. I remember him being really bad at negotiating with people. I'm very good at negotiating with people. It's one of my talents. Like, oh, I'm great at it. Yeah, my mom is too. That's why I'm best businessman in the galaxy. Does it involve guns? On occasion. Mm-hmm. When I'm selling guns. So you are an arms dealer? Not an illegal arms dealer. I definitely don't believe that. I oh, yeah? believe go it. Find some, go find some illegal arms. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the, what's if, the if ocean actually, If anybody actually is going to find them, you need to start rolling uh, investigation checks in certain parts of the yeah. ship. So, yep. I just and, have one. And if you succeed, you don't actually find illegal weapons. You literally find like illicit arms that are like counterfeited, like droid arms and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question, DM. Yeah. What is like the space space ocean mandated length of a mechanical arm? Um 
there's really not one. <laughs> so there's nothing saying it's not illegal. Yeah, from what I remember, how my mom met Uncle Patex was she would sell him all their crap they find. Mm -hmm. Like robot parts and guns they don't need and yeah, stuff like that. Made many a good friend through business. <laughs> business is pretty good. I assume business is always booming when you're a weapons expert. I'm still doubting I sh even stepped on the ship. Trust me, from the moment I've stepped on the ship, I've just agreed nothing is ever going to be the same ever again. Welcome to the new world. Can I go back? I don't think so. <laughs> I doubt if I could. This time, this time, you guys would uh, start getting over the calm, saying we're almost here. Do I need? Do we need a brace for impact or anything? Uh, no. I don't know. How are, how are ships normally piloted? You start feeling the ships like slowing down a little bit. Should we hold on to something? Katex has like has like two of his uh has like both of his feet like you know uh, in wrapped in between the grates and he's like holding on with you know all, uh, all three arms uh, organic and mechanical just like just in case <laughs> just in case. Oh, um, what's this thing? Uh, I think it refueled the ship, I think. I hope it's not dirty, because I need to hold on to it. I don't, I don't think it should be dirty. Uh-oh. It, um, it might be dusty. I can handle dust. Yeah. And I just realized I had to step very carefully around here, because I'm wearing heels. <laughs> And I have a cane. Everything's falling home. What are we, what are we doing? At the very least, you're dressed for the occasion. I have to hold on to this? Oh, I'm always dressed to kill, darling. I was like, why are we holding this? Oh, I'm bracing for impact. Or bracing for stop. We're not crash landing. Oh. Sorry, force of habit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, that, those of you... Okay, we crash into the sun. Ow! <laughs> that's right. Gotta zoom out, the dark part. Run to the dark part. And you I was all the crazy. way zoomed in, and all I saw was orange. I yeah. was like, damn, we really died that quick. <laughs> no, I would never do this. Not even in a one-shot bit to get everybody's feel. Damn, how um, we TPK on session zero? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. <sighs> I mean, if you guys would have fought the Tuscans, it'd be a whole other story. Where does Spike go? Yeah. I thought oh. I thought we were going to fight that Kray Dragon, and you we were just having a conversation, and you was like, yeah. yeah so they get back to skinning the the Kray Dragon. I was like, damn, we missed the whole fight. Yeah, we don't. We don't I mean, yeah, it, you got to remember the last person who initiated the fight was B. B yeah, loves combat more than anything. Yeah, we we on the role play. I spent that entire encounter just hunched over a log. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean it's pretty late. Do we? I mean I'm good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah it, 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 like next session zero. Yeah, you I guys want to so, continue from here? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. I, it's we, fine. We good? Does I everyone... just uh, I'd like to know what was the opinion of the role playing because, like I said, I oh. I don't know my skills. I loved it. Okay. I loved it. Yeah. If I t the only time I tell you to make a skill check is when I deem it necessary, but right, yeah, you guys I were perfect in my opinion. I loved it. I got to hear a story. I got to hear interaction. I basically played a movie in my head for myself. Yeah, like I, I, I think this is a super cool group that's going to be really funny. I'm a bit worried because I think character affiliations are going to clash in the near future. But it's gonna be fun to watch. Yeah, I don't. If you're talking about Remy, Remy's things like right, Jesus is a kid. So. I, I go, I go wherever the money goes, or rather, I go wherever the fashion goes. Well, Remy's both money and fashion. Yeah, so. Katex goes wherever the money goes. 
Yeah. I don't uh, want to go work at Tesco. That's, for, for that's, why he's no, that's like, fair. That's why he has 18 fair. charisma, haggler, and charmer feats. So, for, yeah. for my own health and safety, I'm going to keep a, a solid six feet social distance from <laughs> Katex. Yeah, he's like a, that he's like means a you're right next to me, as according to D&D terms. Yeah, it's like a, he's like a typical like D and D version of like, or a Star Wars version of a D and D kobold or something, right? It's just like yeah, uh, a good bit. Yeah, the the kobolds are very similar to the Jawas. All right, um, it's just that the Jawas are merchants. Uh, but yeah, rats. roleplay wise, I'm happy as long as people are throwing the back back and forth, like the ball back and forth, right? Like someone talks mm -hmm. to you, you talk back, you don't just answer a question and say something, right? You go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you know you get to a good point, then you cut to someone else and cut back, right? But yeah, right. I, I'm, I'm like, I, I'm confident with the role play that I can sit there and like talk all day if I had to to anyone about anything. But oh. you know, I want to make sure oh. everyone gets their turn, right? We gotta swap around. My, my thing is, Spike. They meet at least a five for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, see, a five should be average, right? A five is you talk back when people talk, and you, and you. A big thing is you speak up. Right. That that's that's to me, it's it seems like it's hard for people to find reason to speak up, right? Usually it's because their characters are too bland or they're not interested in stuff, or they can't just make themselves interested. So people don't usually don't speak up a lot. But I, I, I think everyone spoke up. I think everyone interacted with each other pretty well. Um I, I'm I'm happy with how things went, but I'm I'm happy usually just role playing with anyone about anything. So yeah, uh is everyone happy with the characters, with how they yeah. interacted? Did they want to have a problem with I forgot um, I spy grenades. The family grenades <laughs> are part of my kit. I didn't know that. Um, I do I, wish that I was here at the beginning, I will say, because, uh, you know, I would have preferred a better introduction for my character. You but... didn't oh. miss much? Like, all you missed was us. Yeah. This, you, it was the same exact thing. Um, and, instead, of, Just... instead of Ignis's character, uh, Sweet's character. Yeah. And, and we had the but same talk. How many people have crash landed on this planet? <laughs> All the I feel like I could have did better one. RP wise. I felt like I could have put more into it. You were you were fine. I mean, so so a lot of so a lot of the characters like so Remy and Katex is kind of are kind of cheating, right? Because we have pre existing stuff of stupid things from other games, um, and like Ragnar's play along with that, right? So we we have like a lot of random in. I guess like outside joke lore that we can like call upon to give us extra like funny bullshit. So that's kind of like I don't want to say unfair, but right, it's gonna add an extra layer of humor and stupid to like you know things, right? Um, right. And and like um, I guess sweet like connected to Remy like kind of close. So like that was like a they got like one on one uh, role play, right? A lot of that. But um. You and um, Phoenix's character did your little um, thing too, right? But you know, it was over a card game, and it wasn't it wasn't over like a per more personal thing, right? It was over like um, I right. guess Phoenix's character trying to get information to like I guess make money, kind of where where um, Sweet did that earlier with like the outfit thing, but then that turned into you know more connection role play, right? With the yeah, and th and that's come something I kind of like strive for is to be able to have those interactions with everybody in the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, time. Like, session, this is session zero. <laughs> like, we, we did a lot right. for a session zero. We actually interacted and stuff. Because that's the thing about the, what we're trying to do, right? Session zero is usually just meant talking about characters. So I, I assume if everyone's happy, next week or throughout this week, we can work on our characters to make them a lot cooler, a lot better, and then come in next week with more stuff, right? More stuff for us to have and talk about. And yeah, and we can have even better characters for next week with... I mean, I'm open to anything. If you can think of a way to improve Nausha, just simply say the word, and chances are I'll approve. Because as it stands, Nausha, I slammed it together basically yeah. today. That, that's that's like, like a cool like thing, right? Like the idea of um, uh, so so this was a thing that I had for Remy. Remy had like this weird relationship with her mom, where it was almost like she liked her mom too much. So oh, yeah, it, it was right, it was like right. a little bit weird, like, right? But so like emotional incest. Well. Um, it's not, oh, not I don't really, like that. Yeah, not it's it's not really that, right? It's just that Remy didn't really talk to people, right? She didn't she didn't like interact with that. So another older woman come in to like you know interact with her. She's just like, this is someone like she's my got mom. A, 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 mo but, yeah, mom it's not my, yeah, yeah. She has a mom thing. Uh, yeah. A mommy complex. Oh, yeah. oh, don't say that. 
Yeah, right. It's like a <laughs> yeah, like another person that's like similar to her mom, but not her mom, right? So it's it's like oh, it's okay for me to feel this way for someone, right? Like she doesn't feel that way to her mom. It was just that yeah, she didn't really. She was like homeschooled and stuff like that, right? So she didn't she didn't mm-hmm. have all those interactions. Yeah, that's why she's still a little bit naive because like oh she, she's homeschool we couldn't tell yeah yeah right so having a another figure like that so like you're you're like her first crush i guess you would say right so yeah you can take I'm advantage like, of i think i'm more you're than there. twice your age darling yeah yeah uh it's what yeah more than twice yeah no no, no. you're 30 38 you're 20 years older yeah yeah more than twice yeah yeah she's 18 yeah um, yeah yes yeah. Oh wait, she's eighteen. Yeah, Remy's eighteen. Yeah, okay, Remy that, is eighteen. Like, that makes yeah. complete Above sense. Above game because I I have it hidden too from the thing, but as of right now, those who like become friends with Remy over time, their voice and everything and their bio scans get added to the security measures on the ship. Mm-hmm. Those close to Remy will always be safe unless it's harmed to Remy by people. Then everything's changed. <laughs> the uncles I mean, were the crazy protective type. Remy was like the child they could never have because nobody wanted to be with them because how old they looked. I mean, Close. somehow I activated the um the naughty no no drawer by boy. Yeah, yeah that that was because we really don't know much about our pilot in the Friday game and yeah, secret was, things and dealings they have. Minus was, yeah, they yeah. smuggle drugs. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of other secrets. Like, if you ever get in that locked room, you're gonna see some shit. <laughs> I don't. Well, I, I swear, it's going to be like the skeleton of like, like a the clown oh, for her surprise thank party. You, thank you. I forgot like several skeletons that need to be down there too, where the shooting range is. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Oh yeah, Tiny still needs to be there, right? Uh, I, I Tiny or Tiny's for, kittens. Have yeah, to I, I decided be on the not ship. for Tiny, um, because I gave Remy the little dog instead. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so she has a neat, tiny, tiny, Re- tiny Remy's hint. upbringing must have just been really interesting, being she was raised by, let's see, Z, Sailor, and Liliana, so fairly sensible ish. But then everyone else comes in. Uh, uncles that would spoil her, and then. That's the overprotective clone uncles. Her aunt, whose motto is probably be polite, be efficient, and have a plan to kill everyone you meet. And, well, then Katex, and you guys saw everything. So, I mean. Hold up! No, it's not kill everybody right. uh, you meet. It's kill any bitch named Stacy. Yeah, no, see, no, like, it's have a plan to kill Stacey everybody. Else, coding sniper. Yeah, and, and also, see, like, it was Priscilla, not Stacy. Priscilla, my what bad. What did Priscilla do to you? Uh, we'll talk oh, you don't want to know. You, what, you don't know what to know what Priscilla did to Cora. You have to talk to Nick about that. That's Nick's character. But yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah you, you could probably think of it and goes, "Oh, she had like this sheltered life and not really very many experiences with things." But then you realize she's had a lot of experience with some random ass shit, right? She doesn't have. Yeah, to... she's had too much experience. Yeah, she doesn't have to leave her backyard to do it. It's just, it's just in her house and around her. So yeah. That actually oh, reminds yeah, me, yeah, is yeah. there any artist in the server? I'm looking for someone if I can actually get this commission so I own it. Uh, uh, it depends I on know, who you're talking to. I know a lot of artists. Just, uh, because I, if you couldn't tell, I don't own this picture. Yeah. Oh, that's fine half the time. I mean, okay. I, I, I have some like connections a, to I could yeah. look into if you need any. Oh yeah, I'm I'm looking just for, to commission just basically any character. I have a, a stockpile of them. Yeah, um, just kind of shoot me what kind of like vibe or, or aesthetic you want for, her, and I could probably figure out who might be able to do it best. Honestly, something just like what I have there. That's why I picked it. Was I really like the aesthetic and general feel of the picture that I have for her? S- so someone oh, can okay. like replicate a similar yeah. style for that. Yes, because there's a pose that I'm waiting to do if we ever get into combat. Because um, I have two hands. Correct. I can cane on the floor, get ready to stab somebody because the cane is a sword, and I have a gun. So I'm 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 basically an Assassin's Creed character. <laughs> Oh, you're, yeah. Um, yeah, you're like... You're Eevee Fry. And I even have a hidden blade, actually. Hold on. You're, you're Eevee Fry, but older. I, yes, and I have dark. a hidden blade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm the only one currently doing actual customization um, art. Nick's doing 3D stuff. Josh? Josh is a graphics design teacher. Um, Mouse was his... Studio. Josh might have. Josh, is, was that? I said Josh might help if yeah, they ask. But yeah, Josh is. 
Yeah. But it's like what, what's the design. price I'm looking at here? Like, do, do they have like a board or something? Um, I'm gonna head off because uh, it's 2 a.m. where I'm at, and I'm tired of shit. Uh, I sorry, I wasn't here when uh, you know session started. Good. But as yeah. I said before, you know, I I can't control the weather. Yeah, so, that's fine. That's cool. Um. um yeah, yeah. you'll have, uh, yeah. have a good night. Last thing. Uh, have a nice night. If you I'll, have any uh, questions, put them in the Discord stuff, right? And we can talk about it. Or yeah. if you have any, um, I'm gonna if, any ideas up. If I don't die, I'll most likely be uh, on time next session. Sure. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you'll have, uh, you'll have a good one.